Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, it's the Buff Geek here, joined by... What up guys, it's David here, I am back. And? Hashtag it's Steve, here for a one-off special. A one-off like three special. Three month hiatus. A one-off special that will like be randomly life. set. <laughs> oh, he's a heel! Straight away. It took you less than well, 20 seconds to mug someone off. He warned us not to make him laugh, so what am I going to do? <laughs> In fact, no, because I started recording for ages before that, so it probably took you about eight seconds to mug someone off. That must be a new record. I can do it straight away. What's happening? Steve's asthma is flared up. He's already having an asthma attack. Don't worry about Steve. We won't. (laughs) Quite finished? Nope. Okay. (laughs) Let's have a podcast dedicated to you coughing. So, no, well, yeah, sorry, everybody. <laughs> so, we are starting our DCEU review series, which is going to be Yay! really... Way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one of us is not very enthusiastic. <laughs> nope. What sort of comic book guy? Are you being paid by Marvel? I fucking love DC Comics. Just not the film world. DCEU is a clusterfuck on screen. <laughs> well, don't give away your feelings for all the films just yet. And DCEU is a clusterfuck off screen as well. In fact, that's where the main clusterfucking happens. That's where they get bent over and clusterfucked. Hashtag clusterfuck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Me, you're saying for the next month. Well, I didn't think I could use cunt masher, so I thought, go with clusterfuck. <laughs> And you're the one that keeps saying we need a female voice and a female on the show. I would behave. Is that I, the way to put you back in your jar? things to focus on, yeah. Lovely jubblies. Fuck's <laughs> sake. <laughs> no I'm sorry, ladies. Here. And the thing is, the, the girl that I do know that I think could be suitable for coming on the podcast because she's got good knowledge... Mm-hmm. ...has got a good pictorial region... And you, look at the neck of you, look at you. You've got a fucking pinker in your pants and you're about to have some sort of I prefer the term pinger, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, like, it's like Red Rocket, you know? The Red Rocket? <laughs> I really wish you had a ruler right now. Doing. That was really helpful for the podcast, though, yeah, that doing. Will. Yeah, I thought that. We'll have to get like a boing sound effect. Boing, 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 boing. I'm just going to take way too much editing to put that in. I, I am not doing do that. that. No. <laughs> Hashtag but my editing. Are you doing the editing? <laughs> oh my gosh. Right, so we're going to be reviewing Man of Steel. Yay. Yay. Mound of... Sh- yeah, carry on. Fucking <laughs> okay, hell. M-O-S. Yes. And Steve is going to kindly give us the synopsis for it. Well, 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 well yeah, we're going to generally go through it. Superman, uh, origin well, story, we'll saves the day, it. job done. Mm. Oh, come on. Provide a little bit of suspense as to where you might weigh on this film, okay? Okay, so, let's start with the beginning. That's a great place to start. So, we are in Krypton. And actually, the thing that got me as well, the first time I watched this in the cinema, I was actually really surprised they spent as long as they did doing the whole Krypton stuff at the beginning. Mm -hmm. It really, I mean, it was 20 minutes or so, I think, because I paused it just after. It was a general theme throughout the whole film. No, no, but actually, (laughs) in Krypton. Think about the original. No, I mean like spending way too long on something. <laughs> I think you need to speak louder, Steve. Am <clears throat> I not close enough? <clears throat> I think you need Bring to get dad. closer. Oh, we've got. Oh, that's the rule, isn't it? Steve, Steve gets the mic closer, and we will just be the project. Same. Yeah, we'll project. Actor, darling. Actor. Benedict Cumberbatch. Benedict Cumberbatch. Benedict Cumberbatch. Benedict Cumberbatch. Bunt Island, Cowden Beath. You still know who I'm talking about. Yes. There we go. I got that mean. Right, Steve. <clears throat> And, uh, and, and Jor-El is kind of trying to sort some stuff out. He knows that Krypton's about to blow up. Uh, Zod is trying to take over. Having oh, a coup. Yeah, yeah, he, he seems to be some sort of military coup, yes. Yeah. Well, but later in the film, he does say he's aware it was going to die. Yes. So what was it, What was he aiming to achieve? He was trying, he tried to take over, but it was too late. But he was still going with it anyway because hmm. he was just going to prolong or try and lengthen it to explore rather than just sit mm. on the burning volcano and wait for it to burst. But jor decides he knows he's going to figure out how to save his uh, 
firstborn and only crypto natural birth in a couple of hundred years, I think he says. Well, I think he said, a th- they threw around a couple of figures at different points. I'm sure they said something like a thousand years at one point. Mm. A long while anyway. Yeah, a good long time. Aye. And uh, and also steals the uh, Kryptonian genetic code um, while he was at it uh, and sent him off into the ship. He did indeed. And the code is what you would use to create more Kryptonians. It was all stored in the codex. Yes. Which was... As opposed to doing the old-fashioned way. Yes. Yes. But he did it the old-fashioned way. Yes, he did. He got his rocks off. But that's because his wife is... Vanessa. Kingpin's wife. Yes. 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 Ah, that's weird. Is that yeah. why you Because I saw her and I was like, me. Well, I, for, beforehand <laughs> I was thinking, oh, Renny Rousseau's in this, isn't it? Because I'd forgotten who it was. Uh, and I don't know why. Something just made me. Oh, yeah, I did not get it. Again. Walder Frey is back. Oh, <laughs> <crazy>. <laughs> How did it sound on the podcast when you were sitting there? And your mother <laughs> would still be a milkmaid if I hadn't <laughs> squirted you into her belly. <laughs> That was a great line. That was just one of his first lines in yeah. Game of Thrones. <laughs> is that how you tell off your kids? Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's more like, you know, your mother would still be fucking the milkman if he hadn't squirted you into her belly. So, it's close enough, though. It works. Well, they, they understand the point. Mm-hmm. You know? It doesn't matter how you dress up exactly. Have you got sons or daughters? Uh, one of each. <laughs> <laughs> You've just got doors. Mm-hmm. Oh dear. So at some point, I only have to worry about like one pregnancy at a time, or t- most like two. His wee boy could be pumping loads of folk. He could have like seven or eight pregnancies on the go at once. Oh, aye. That's the way to look at it. Everyone goes, oh, daughters, daughters, and it's like, ha, fuck you, one at a time. And then who gets the blame? Watch this. The dad. Well, kids are oh, no, wait, it's quadruplets it's... at the same time. Yeah. Well, two things we want to discuss there just real quick is that um, maybe you want to send your son to me when he's about 13, 14 and I'll explain to him how to avoid getting the girls pregnant. Fucking Roman. But having... Right a, exactly. But having, <laughs> but having a, a long, a long-term ploughing spree. <laughs> 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 With no fouls. <clears throat> that you know of. <laughs> hey, I, I, if I don't know, I can't pay. That's all I'm saying. Alpha, and the alpha farmer. <laughs> <laughs> and in 16 years' time, I'll be 50, and your daughters will be 18 to 20. You will be staying the fuck away from both of them. <laughs> Why do like, you think I'm hitting the gym? Looks, looks like. <laughs> He, do, he does look a lot bigger, doesn't he? Yeah. He's getting priest training. What are you training for? Johnny had 16 years. Yeah. <laughs> so already oh this podcast dear. is more fun than Man of Steel. Awesome. Already! Whoa. How old are they again? I'm just asking. Mm-hmm. Man of Steel came out four years ago. What's no, that? that? Sorry. Four and one. 16 years works for both. Unless they change the legalities of things. Does that mean... What would that make me to you then? Your son-in-law. Dead. Dead. (laughs) Okay. Okay. (laughs) Right. Let's, um... I would take this bullet (laughs) and I would throw it to you like this. Uh (laughs) (laughs) Uh-huh. And I would tell you that it travels a lot fucking faster if you touch any of them. This is this is this is a watch. It was representative. <laughs> oh, like with the milkman and the mm. ah yeah, yeah, yeah. squirt squirt. Just, just wait till sixty years later. He boy. picks up a bullet in his hand, tries to throw it at you out of his hand, and it drops on the floor. <laughs> but if we both get more hench at the same rate of henchness, based on the fact that we're both humanoids, I've still got a head start on you. Yeah, but you'll be older. You also age. Is there not a plateau? Well, allegedly. Allegedly so, but not when you're perfect. But that's okay, because he'll then turn to the dark side. Maybe on the roids. <laughs> <laughs> no. I am not getting hemorrhoids. No way. <laughs> he likes running too much. <laughs> and you wouldn't want to put on that much muscle bulk. No, 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 no. Although... It's not saying you can't that, that runners don't take. Anyway, that's another topic, another time. <laughs> so Superman, right? Yeah. Excuse so, me. Um, 
the uh, Kryptonian army, guard, whoever they are, normal people rock up, um, capture Zod, he then gets uh, sentenced to 300 years in the Phantom Zone. Uh, 300 cycles. 300 cycles, sorry, yeah. They, they <laughs> and I, I believe my wars. friend um, is in in one of the scenes. I want to show you, I'm just so you get 100 there. cycles is 11 years, I figured, or they were released early. Yeah, uh, well, that's what I, that's what I, I, thought, I figured 100 cycles was 10 years. Was maybe? 10 years maybe. And they'd been searching for a mm, while. Maybe. Um, keep, 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 keep talking, going, keep yeah. talking. Um, yeah, and they get sent off to the Phantom Zone and uh, Krypton explodes. Boom! I'm sure of it. And that's the first... Sorry, it was a great minutes. film up to that point. <laughs> did you enjoy the beginning? No, everyone because died though, so it was a good start. No, no, but genuinely, because you told me that you did it twice. You had to watch it twice. And that made me think that you had switched off part of the way through the, the first sequence. It was all just CGI, CGI-ness. Yeah, I it thought was, it held up quite well. It was I mean, okay. it's four years, four years uh, you're, old. You're trying to make me say I like it. I, I see what you're doing. No, 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 no. I'm just <laughs> no, I'm trying to be nice about it. Okay. Well, we'll tr- we can talk about why we liked it or why we didn't like it in a little bit. We're just trying to give Steve a little bit of room to uh, <laughs> to explain the film and not talk about me impregnating either of your daughters. <laughs> Start on his first. In fact, try his How is she? Nine. She I can't impregnate his son. I'm not that. Nine. Anyway, right. How, your daughter's nine? Yeah. It's closer. So that means I just wait years. ten years. I'll still be in my forties. Can I be your son? <laughs> wait, can I? Can I come live in the big house? You live in the big house. You're gonna have Daddy's to home. West Wing. <laughs> yeah. Are <laughs> uh, you be going in the big house? That's for sure. But it's not Steve's. <laughs> but should we nineteen? In fact, I don't have to wait. I have to wait now. I am waiting. Illness. Really illness. Really illness. 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 So <laughs> my, fast me and Michael to Douglas. We've got in common. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so fast track. This, 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 the more I read about this, the more this isn't in the exact same order that the film is in. So we're just gonna have to get. Right, so up. basically, you see. You want me to do it since you watched it one point four? No, no, go. You've seen. <laughs> so you've seen the Tudor, and he's like going round. He's on the ship. <laughs> the Tudor. You get it. I got it. I got right. it. Uh, he's going round on the ship, and you see he's doing these odd jobs, and. Yep. I, a thing goes to land on him and a guy rugby tackles him and rescues yes. him, right? Yes. If the guy went to rugby tackle him... He would bounce off him. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, would, Hard, it would be like rugby tackle in a lamppost. No, 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 yeah. no, see, it's not. Do you, think, it's no, not. do you think he let him do it because he knew? Yes, and, yeah. I, and I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, okay. I'll yeah, tell you why no, later. No, yeah, no, no. Oh, you want to tell you now? Oh, fine, then. I think when it comes to... Because I've got this problem with Buffy as well right now, okay? And just generally superheroes have this problem where their strength levels can be a little bit ski with sometimes. Mm-hmm. So they'll pick up a car and you're like, okay, that's fine. But they'll punch a normal person and their head won't implode. Yes. You said this about Jessica Jones, did you not, on the Defenders podcast? I think so, yeah. Because she's, she's been very all over the place. Mm. Oh, she's all over the place. Yeah. It's really annoying. Yeah. But I've decided that I'm going, this is how I'm going to accept it. I'm going to assume that they know their strength level and that they try and maintain a level of you know, what's acceptable hmm. in terms of what's happening with humans. Well, he was brought up to be human, to blend in. Yeah. So he must have, even at a subconscious level, probably knew it. If somebody's going to push you over, you should fall. Hmm. Um, the people, the reason the people were called now is a continuity flow is obviously when he's in the bar, which we'll get to in a few minutes, um, He, when the boy pushes him, he doesn't budge. <laughs> I but love that. But that's more... I think he knew. I think, that that was, I think this is a cover. Sure he's not going to pick I mean, imagine if, if, if you're just always cool... And really chill, mm. and you're awesome at all your jobs, which obviously he, he's going to be because because yeah. he's a smart guy and he's also phys- physically stronger than anyone there. Yeah. So he's going to have to kind of goof off a little bit, make mistakes, make himself look like the hapless fool, which yeah. he tends to do. So I think that he let the guy tackle him yeah. so that he looks like I can't be the super he, Clark or sorry Joe or whatever his name was. He can't be the Superman that helps people. He, I, I pushed him over the other day, or I gave him a slap round the head. You know, <laughs> so you know, you know it'd be quite funny as you see him growing up. If you seen him disappearing up into the barn with a dirty magazine, and then <laughs> uh, you see a shot later of just this like white glob <laughs> bursting out the roof and into space. <laughs> oh, no. Super spunk. Oh, dear, why did you get rid of such a bad? Place? Always, eh? Always. It's like a level. It's like, what did you send us today in the WhatsApp? You creep. 
a Hydra picture. Cut one, I cut off one head, and two more will replace it. Yeah, but just think about what kind of head he sent us. Yes. Anyway, there's enough of that. No, I don't. I don't want to see that picture ever again. I'm not putting that up. Head by the way, that's me back on the Wikipedia, just in case you're thinking. Right. That. Okay. Right. So, <clears throat> he's, yeah, he's on the he's on the boat. He's doing all the odd jobs, and then you see the uh, the oil rigs in distress, and it's the first glimpse you get to see of him in modern world. Fucking majorly super shredded shape. shape. Yes. Which is what I was reading. About. How Go much on. was that all genuine? All or? him. He's all. That's all him, and he refused to take steroids. Steroid, he's openly yeah. said, "I've." I refuse to take steroids, which yeah. ma- he basically threw everyone else under the fucking bus. Because uh, <laughs> um, you've talked about this before. Yeah, but you can see it. You Long can see it in his shape. Like, he, he looks big and strong, but he's not... He's, he's, he's ripped, but he's not crazy ripped. Yeah, I want to look like him. He that doesn't, would be amazing. He doesn't... Like, Hugh Jackman doesn't look real. Hmm. Whereas... Ben, uh, Henry Cavill hmm. looks still possible. Hmm. You know? And it does, he doesn't have to be biggest guy because he's, his strength isn't from working out necessarily but it needs to look reasonable and obviously the 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 suit is padded and pops in yeah. different places yeah. because Russell Crowe ain't built like that <laughs> and I want to know did Russell Crowe lose a whole bunch of weight and they just put him in a really padded suit or did they literally I don't know he was looking good though he was looking and, good eh uh, he was looking trim around the face as well I don't, yeah I don't know if it was touched up in any way but or whether he just got himself in a bit of shape Probably, probably in a better shape. Ah, he got touched up. Um, you think? In the trailer. Mm. Oh my gosh. Well, I was but reading a lot about that. You can tell someone's bored. <laughs> I was reading a lot about that because Henry Cavill, um, he he, um, he was aware of the fact that if, if, he was, if he was in the suit all the time and it was obviously a contoured suit, everyone would be like, oh, it's just the suit that's got the muscles, it's not you or whatnot. And um, so, whether it was him or Zach, I, don't, I didn't quite figure out from what I was reading, but it was about having these a couple of topless scenes in it. So he was like, right, yeah, I'm going to do it because I want to prove it's me. I'm going to work my damn ass off. Yeah. So it's like, I'm like five 1,000 uh, calorie shakes a day for months as he was bulking up. And then the six weeks prior, he shredded. Mm-hmm. He did like, was 1,500 calories a day or something? And he shredded it all, cut himself down. Something like that. I that's personally think that that's complete BS. Yeah, Batman, think. Superman, yeah, <laughs> BBS. <That's next> week. <laughs> Fuck. No, I don't think I don't think he would have done it like that. No, no, but I, that is that is the thing about the fitness industry. People like to make things sound even more harder. This podcast is brought to you by Alpha Fitness. <laughs> That's right. He probably, I would say, he was probably on about four thousand calories a day. <laughs> but, and the reason I well, I reckon not. that, yeah, yeah, the reason I reckon that is because I've looked at his measurements, his alleged measurements, and assuming they're correct, they're about the same as mine. And that is what I am, and we're about the same height, if indeed. I don't see why they'd make him shorter, mm. so you can only be six foot two or taller. You know, it's not like he's like six foot five and then he's six two or six three, you know? Yeah. So it's not like wrestling. More yeah, exactly. So he's, <laughs> he's kind of like six to 100 kilos. That, from experience and from, from also like equations, you're looking at about 4,000 calories a day, mm. roughly. And then just to pull the abs through a little bit, he might have went down to like three and a half or three sometimes. Um, but he wouldn't have went much more lower than that. He wouldn't have went to fifteen hundred, for example. Fifteen hundred's what I. Eat. It's way too low, I was reading, and that's too low. Uh, I know. Um, I was reading that uh, he was down to about seven percent body fat when he came to filming it. What? No, no, no. Doesn't look. It doesn't look seven percent. I was going to say that's that not borderline and easy. <laughs> yeah, seven percent. He, he would be way more ripped like that when they're when they're on competition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's that's that's. Nah, because he had to be. I'm going to say he had girth about him. He had, he had shape, but he had healthy, yeah, he had healthy, a set fat, of, healthy fat. He said his abs were showing, but he wasn't like... Like, Zac oh, Efron yeah. from Baywatch might have been eight or nine. Uh, maybe he was on the more. rocks regime. He was. <laughs> but he was crazy, like, ripped. Yeah. Well, I, I, I think Henry Cavill was probably about ten, maybe even eleven. Um... But people think people have got this idea that ten is like super ripped, mm. and it's it's actually. I mean, it is and it isn't. Mm. Kind of depends on your body type as well. So it could be a little bit off mm. there. Um, <clears throat> but and you wouldn't be on five thousand to one thousand five hundred. No, but he did yeah. look good. Yeah. He looked he looked healthy. <clears throat> but you do see in the other scenes when he just got a t-shirt on, some of them he did look a little bit uh, f- flimsy, mm. if you will. Mm-hmm. Which is why the guy was able to rugby tackle him. Because he's flimsy, he only had his t-shirt on at that point. 
Yes, yeah, something like that. <laughs> so odd jobs. You see him rescuing the yeah. oil rig. You, you see get some um, nice flashbacks to school. Yeah, you well. see various flashbacks it's, to. Uh, thing. I quite like how you did a lot of With the, the small bill haircut. It was, it was like it was yeah. like they did a different take on an origin story in Better Commas because they did they tried to keep as much of it as now as possible. They just had the big setup with the old Krypton and what happened, but that yeah. wasn't so much. Yeah. I think they realised Superman's origin. Everyone knows Superman's origin. origin. Yeah, so they, they didn't dwell from the sky, he's raised by a couple of hicks and then goes out into the world and becomes a reporter and starts screwing another reporter. A and... couple of hicks. What? Uh, Water World. World and, and uh, Batman's mum. Aye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not big. He it doesn't care. <laughs> um, yeah, so we had a couple that, of that's, nice that's what happens in really Justice League. Batman and Superman turn out to be like half brothers. Save Martha! <laughs> Apparently, Justice League early screenings last night are receiving very positive reactions. Really? Yes. Oh, I've not read about that. But is, is, that from the, uh, is that from the team out? DC Warner though remember they said that BVS was the best thing on Earth well that's, uh, that what? was my thought was this ex- exact same thing that happened with BVS but we'll talk about it next week okay uh, so yeah and then you see Lois Lane you get introduced to Lois Lane I could be jumping ahead here but yeah, I'm trying to get this over and done yeah. um, <laughs> have you passed the part where where Clark mashes the guy's truck that's actually pretty oh, funny I, I loved totally that I totally forgot uh, when I watched it last night, that that, that bit was even. That was like, I knew the guy was going to go and his truck was going to be fucked, right? Because they showed you him arriving. Mm-hmm. But I honestly, like, I was just expecting it to be on its side or something, not. Yeah, or just <laughs> like a bit of smashed cushion. in the front, but he like absolutely just all that. Yeah. Which you kind of think would have caused a lot of noise. And someone probably would have seen him do it. Let's oh, honest. no, like, continuity. Well, sorry, 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 that would be an all, that's maybe an all critic. <laughs> the, 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 thing, the thing I thought is cool, but if he just kind of shoved the guy over a little bit mm. and made him look like a tit, as opposed to destroying his livelihood. <laughs> like, yeah, it's Superman, you dick. He could have made, him, he could have, he could have made the look, guy look foolish. I'd probably pop that bird, <laughs> but no, he's like, oh, he's like, I'll be the good guy. It's cool. I'm going to leave. Here's your tip, doing off the back of the beaner, and he's like, do you know what? You and your family going to starve. <laughs> Superman. First sex experience. Superman gives it the first thrust, and she boom takes off into the next. You state. need to get some fucking sex. That's just funny. How was, that, how was that truck driver selling that story to the insurance company? <laughs> Imagine coming out right now and then. So, what happened to your truck? I don't know. I just came out from having my my dinner and it was like this. <laughs> the thing is, what insurance company is going to look at it and go, I believe you did this. Well, but how could you even. Yeah. No, I think the insurance company would probably say, well, it's not an accident. Yeah. It's not theft. Uh, it's not accidental we're, we're damage. Gonna, Act of God. We're going to put it under natural disaster. We're gonna, <laughs> natural disaster? Is that not, covering? No, it can't, it can't even be malicious damage because there's no person on earth, wink, wink, who could do that. Uh-huh. So, no. Nah, no cover. No cover? Yeah, no I, payout. I did, I did like that. Insurance is BS. <laughs> so then we come up to Lois, who is going to um, investigate some Still site thanks. with the military. She's a guest of the military. Mm-hmm. And we see... Joe, otherwise known as Clark Kent, otherwise known as Superman, just, just kind of in the background. Isn't it? In, uh, is it the Antarctic? It's up in, I want to say up in the Arctic somewhere, but yeah. So Probably Alaska. Al- so let's say it's Alaska. So they're in Alaska and, you know, Lois, uh, what's the word? She defines herself as a badass by giving the major a bit of a hard time and talking about the, you know, the dick measuring, dick measuring contest yeah, and all blah, this, blah, and, blah, blah, yeah. and you're like, ah, yeah, yeah, that's fair okay. enough, you know, yeah. whatever. But also, as much as I like redheads, and I know redheads are in right now. You and sh- you're in redheads. Yeah, you. <laughs> yes, um, you should have dark hair. This, Lois has got dark hair. Mm-hmm. I don't know. That's all mm-hmm. I'm going to say. But it is Amy Adams, and she is very good. She is very good. And they look good look together. Good. Mm. Good. And she got... Uh, she grew on me more... Uh, <laughs> throughout the film. <clears throat> yeah. Is Wikipedia out of the question? for the? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> some shit goes down. And 
No, no, no. Not the, well, she, not she, she uh, notices. Can he, she spots Canadian art. Joe. Ah. Yeah, she spots yeah, him yeah, going yeah, out into the, the ice. She's like, what are you up to? What are you up to? And then she goes for a wee snoopy. And she finds this hole, hole that he's burnt in. He's burnt it, yeah, with his eyes. eyes. That would fuck. That would get you dizzy though, because he'd be going like this. All the way around the fucking tunnel, you know. <laughs> you don't need to do that. It's just the Surely he just opened the beam up, no? I don't know. Yeah. Is his beam stronger than Cyclops? Uh, that's, no, his is hot as well as concussive, so yeah, his is worse than Cyclops'. Because it would just. You wouldn't move, you would just burn a hole in you. Well, not me. Yeah, you. Oh, I know. Right through your alpha these are, like, these are These are like um, Wonder Woman's gauntlets. Boom! <laughs> 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 I'm glad that popped you, boys. Um, I so, was just humouring you. Thank you. So, Lois sneaks into the, the, Clark's the, hole. Clark's hole, <laughs> and gets suitably attacked by some floating <clears throat> CGI mess. Yes. I mean, um, <laughs> no, I'm like floating a, CGI mess. Yes, yeah. Phallic. Click. Phallic. Cal- no, not phallic. <laughs> Fuck you! Keep, keep, yeah, kill, click, kill it! Or, I don't know, something like that. Something yeah. like that. Yes, yeah, so it's, it's, it's just not right here. I'm just guessing. Jor-El's <laughs> droid, for lack of better, yeah. better terms. R two D three. Yes, <laughs> and she takes a fatal blow to the gut, which our boy Joe manages to uh, what's the word again? Uh, cauterize. cauterize. Yeah. Well, I eyes. can do things that other people can't do. Having a wee sneaky X-ray look. Yep. I kind of oh, would have yeah, rather he pulled he, her he top crushed, up a little bit. He crushed it to bits as well. Yeah, he, oh, yeah, he does. <laughs> he does crush it to bits, but he did kind of struggle a little bit with it. And also, it cut him. Did you notice it cut him? No. Yes, it cuts him. Was there some? I well, I noticed him holding his arm, but you never seen it no, again. No, but but there's a cut in this blood. Was there some like Kryptonian mm. air in that ship then? Because that's what we can dumb in there. Could be. Uh, okay. Could be. We'll no, let them, so. yes, yeah. them off with that. You think so? Yes. Let's let them off with that. I think it's powered by a crystal. No, like a, like no a... it was Kryptonian atmosphere in the other ship, and that fucked him up. That had him. Oh, nice, nice, yes, nice. There we go. I'll no, fucking no, save your film. <laughs> nice. That's totally what happened. I hate myself. So Amy Adams obviously hadn't hit the gym for this film because they didn't get the gratuitous stomach shot. <laughs> uh, so I, th- I was thinking, I'm thinking she maybe carried a few extra poundage. Okay. Around the waist, just saying. That's because not important. When he's lo- no, but when he's when he's going to cauterize the wound. Body shaming. No, no, oh come on! But he's going to cauterize the wound. Sorry, Amy. He didn't move the top, so therefore yes. it looks like <clears throat> yeah, the top would burn into the wound. Exactly. That's that's my point for that. Yeah, they could have body doubled it. Have that's all I'm saying. You know, so maybe it's it's a totally unimportant thing. But that's the first thing I thought. I just thought, let's see your top off. No, I thought that that's what he's not like. moved the top, so therefore did he just do it through the top? You know what I mean? Because they made another error later on that I thought was kind of weird. Yes, they did. Uh, I'll speak about that in a second. Right, okay, so Clark then flies the ship, fucking drops her off in the middle of the snow, (laughs) and takes off, and goes and parks it in another bit. Of the snow? Yeah. Now, has he met his... Has he spoke to Jor-El yet? Before he flies it, or is it after he flies it that he chats to Jor-El? I fucking know it all happened uh, as a bit of a blur for me. Well, it all happens roughly the same time then. So yeah, he, he has a chit chat with his dad. Yep. And figures out what happened and stuff. Hey, pops. Um, and I and jor shows him his suit. Yeah, which I didn't didn't like. Well, the jor gave him a suit. And it looked nothing like any of the other suits anyone else had been wearing apart from the symbol of hope on the chest. Yes, but... But, I know I was reading this on so IMDb, but um, they classed them as inverted commas almost their underwear. It was almost like a bit of a rip. You know, like Superman wears his pants on the outside. Okay. Um, did you notice then, all, uh, all, when they were in Krypton, they all had their undersuits and then their armour went on top, mm-hmm. or their costume went on top of that. Here you go, son. His... I've been dying to meet you for the last 30 years. Here's a pair of boxers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get those on. Then get the whole set of armour loaded onto the ship. I just had this random spare set on and he's kicking around. So here you go, you can have this. It would have been better... I put if... a cape on it. Yeah, like, it would have been better if that it was cape black. Blinged it. That cape and he blinged it down. up a little bit. You know, like, he should have been able to... Especially the fact that he wore a cape later on. And later on in the flashback scene from when he was a kid. It would have been better if he kind of did something to give the outfit more of his own kind of vibe. Yeah, I don't like black, black, but I'm all American. Red and blue. Job done. Something like that, yeah. yeah. I, 
it could have been a little funny bit where he's like talking with the robot or whatever and he decides to style it. But he's crushed the robot. Oh, is there not two of them? There was There's two. two. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Suck a dick. Um, <laughs> At least one of us so paid he, attention. He starts <laughs> flying about um, and apparently when you put your new underwear on that your dad gave you, mm-hmm. it also shaves off your beard. Yeah. Yes. Which was really annoying. They must have had some. Again, this is something else that everyone was ripping on about. It's a bit of a runny joke, and it's even been in the comments about how does he shave? There's nothing. Yeah, there's nothing humanly possible that can cut his facial hair off. But then he's just been in the Kryptonian ship, so he's maybe got a Kryptonian shaver. It's fine. Job done. Yeah, I. I would rather he flew about then with the beard and the messy <laughs> hair, yeah. and then later on he kind of <clears throat> when he's maybe when he's maybe at his mom's house. Yeah. Another gratuitous peck shot, having a wee shave instead of instead of drinking a, a Bud Light or whatever it was. No, it was just regular Bud. Instead of drinking a Bud, he could have been shaving, and his mum could have called him downstairs for something. Yeah, that would have been that would have made me feel so much happier. You, you, yeah, this has been mentioned a few times on podcasts. You like sometimes just having that that little nugget that just ties it together. Yeah, I mean it could generally be cutting floor rubbish, but it's like you want that in the film. You want it actually there so you can see it. No, but it's not. Let me spin feed you the block. No, no, it's not that. It's it's continuity. It's continuity ah, for the the, the character's <laughs> image, like and the fact is they had him drinking a beer. Why couldn't he? He could, even, he could be twice as manly drinking a beer, cutting with some cutthroat razor. Could use the big sword. What film is it where a guy shaves with just his nails, and it's a guy like Superman, and he just goes and takes it off like oh, that. Yeah. I can't. It may have been a Superman. I can't remember, but there was something where he just took it off with his own nails. He was like, "No, it's time to get rid of this." I can't remember what it was though. It's gonna annoy me. That would be sweet, although really hard to do because it. Not Answer, for Superman. Answers on the postcard, folks. Yep. Let us know. Actually, you know what? Postcards are so like old man Steve. Let's go for <laughs> answers on a comment in a stamped addressed envelope sent to. <laughs> CBBC, the broom cupboard. And <laughs> World Wide Web. <laughs> Jimmy Sabla. No, anyway. <laughs> um. Out. <laughs> you oh. crossed the line there, mate. Crossed You're laughing at your own jokes again. Yeah, you I Damn it. Uh, I'm so lame. <laughs> You're the lamest. You and your can of sunrise. Cool. So. <laughs> we're, uh, Zod is escaping the Phantom Zone. This is when we get where... Um, then back in it. Sorry. Steve's struggling here. Steve's struggling. Yeah, we're right, not okay. talk too much. So, Sod, Clark goes back right. home yep. to see his mom, and his mom is actually pretty fit. What does he get dropped off, dropped off by? What? His mom's totally fit. No, she's not. Yes, she is. No. Dude. Uh, yes! You say I need laid. Not in, Christ. Not in this film. Yeah, but you know, she's a fit woman. She is. Yeah, but... I, I hope you mean, like, can run a marathon. No, but... You see her when she's got her dark hair and everything, right? As opposed to the grey hair she's got in the film. Nothing wrong with a little bit of grey hair, brother. Depends where it is. Right, I'm going to show. I'm going to find a picture of her right okay. now. I'm going to show you, and you're you're going to Diane you're going to tell Lane me that... hot picture. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that'll find something from 1991. <laughs> 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 so, what does he get dropped off in? Clark, in your asshole. Truck. Are you tell me I who was that fucking truck. ass? What's that? LexCorp. It's a LexCorp truck that drops him off. It's well, like it's a LexCorp truck that gets thrown at him, and it's a LexCorp train that gets yeah. smashed up as well, is it not? Oh yeah, that's uh, that's terrible. I'd be so upset. See, that's hard, that. but that's 2013. That's when the film it was filmed, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> well, she looked pretty not. You fit. like you guys would fucking refuse a bit of that. On the assumption that look at uh, that, it would happen. Well, at, she's not bad. Straight, straight up Foxy, man. She's better looking than. That's not the face. point of this podcast. Amy Adams. Yes. No, she's not. Yes, she is. No, she's not. Yes, she is. Mm. Is not. Even yeah, now, she's still stunning. Out of, all, out of all the ladies in Man of Steel, albeit thankfully it wasn't really kind of. There didn't seem to be any eye candy nonsense shit going through the film which sometimes annoys me even though but Lawrence Fishburne was in it for me <laughs> oh my gosh that's hilarious 
Fowra, Fowra, Fowra. How's it pronounced? Fowra. Look at her there. He looks rough. Really? That's also a current picture. Look Is at that her. Josh Brolin. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's like he's like mini yeah. Thanos. Yeah. Is Brolin and Darley married? I don't know. No, they were in the guilt trip together. Oh right. So. Back in 2014. Uh-huh. So um, <clears throat> yeah. Super, Still, I rest it? my case. She's fucking well hot. She's got great legs, good breasts, tight waist. She's got you, an you're ass. Wasting way too Her much time are, on this. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. She's obviously been to Alpha Fitness. We get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> okay. So Zod, Zod, and I have escaped the Phantom Zone and on their way to, on the way to Earth. Uh, so their ship breaks, um, breaks the atmosphere, in better comments, or starts orbiting the Earth. And then uh, he sends his signal down. That's pretty cool, that bit. I like that bit where the, the lights go out and the TV stations are all taken over. That's how I imagine an alien invasion to start. <laughs> like in Mars Attacks. I think that's what said it for me, was you get Mars Attacks with a like, ack, 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 how, ack, how does he ack. understand all the languages? Ack, does he ack. understand the languages? They've been exploring Zod. this universe for thousands oh, and thousands of years. Yeah, they'll have... So an Universal like Rosetta Stones. Star Trek style, they've got a universe. They, so they talk, they, they talk their own language yeah. into the ship and, and it, it just and it transmits, transmits it. it. Yeah. And that's fine, that's what I thought. Mm-hmm. But then he speaks to Kal-El normally and he's not using some sort of voice piece or anything. So how? Because Kryptonian just happens to be the same as English. Move on. Hmm. Ak, 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 ak. <laughs> we should Although that it. was cool when the light went out, we're not watching Mars Attacks. They all, um, there was a, there was a, there, there was a minor flaw with that though. The fact that this signal is being broadcast around the whole world and it's dark everywhere. Yeah, no, I know, no. I know. How are they getting the electricity to the TVs and everything like that? No, it's dark, as in like nighttime all over the world. Oh, and right, I think you meant they'd knocked the out TV. all the electricity, but <clears throat> yet the TVs so were still they, working. So, so it's nighttime in America, <laughs> Yeah. therefore 12 hours forward, i.e. Asia mm-hmm. has to be in daylight. Yeah. Anyway. Huh. Huh. Wouldn't it be? Huh. I'll pickle your brain a little bit. I like that. <laughs> I just like the fact that they knock out all the electricity, but yet the TV's still on. I like Maybe they the... switched it on. Is <clears throat> their alien ship power to I'm... broadcast it? <laughs> Too far. I'm glad you cut me off there. I was going to say something weird. Probably really Shocker. Bad as well. <laughs> <laughs> something arrestable? No! no. I nearly <laughs> did. <laughs> I'll tell you later. Yeah. <laughs> I like Diane Lane's scream. Diane Lane's scream. Yeah, she screams when, when the lights when the light go back, back on and she drops Brilliant. the apples. It was, it was, it was so natural. <laughs> it's not Rachel the... McAdam and Doctor Strange, though. <laughs> Remember oh. when the broom falls over? Oh, yeah. But that is that is a natural one. That was a genuine... Was a, yeah. Okay, yeah. Anyway, we covered that in the Doctor Strange podcast. Yeah. You all know that, so let's move on. <laughs> so, kal decides, yep, yeah, I'm going to have to surrender myself. Give myself up. But, but before that, some spiritual help before that, sure. Lois Lane gets lifted by the FBI because the the guy the... from the website that she leaked the story yep. about the alien yep. to, Says which we missed out that bit about the leaking the story because but it's never not, mind. That oh, it's not that important. Was it? was we can get yeah, just all it all it precedes was the fact that she knew who he was. That's that's all it was yeah. leading to, um, and so he says, "I'll surrender myself, but give up Lois Lane," and they're like, "Right, fine, you can go speak to her." And then he, he basically like, let me square with you here, General, because I'm sound clink. You know, I've taken these handcuffs off, but I'm a good guy. What about the airborne pathogens? You would have already died in the last 33 years. <laughs> and he's like, like, yeah, but you're still, you're still a hostile threat. Blah, 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 blah. And you're like, typical hoorah! Critique. Yeah, it's like <laughs> typical, like, yank military. We love like, you guys. We're love really super paranoid. Um... No, that he was playing a, playing a stereotype mm-hmm. of a character. Mm-hmm. What are you looking at? Don't look My at phone that. buzzed. I look. Um, On, I'm not saying all actually. Americans are no. Morica and, you know, suspicious of others. Well, on that, they but had that's his job. The, the, the female army, I want to say major, or she was she was ranking official. Right. The, the girl with it, she was almost looked young, but she was... She's kind of Latina. Lady. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty lady, right? Who was... Military, staunch, sensible, until right at the end where she does the, oh, he's so cute, oh, gushing all over, I fucking hate that bit. Just, just to drive oh, home that, that yeah, you're meant to fancy God, Superman. piss off. 
<sighs> anyway. Okay. <laughs> the sorry, rage. Sorry. Uh, uh, she doesn't fancy uh, me. So annoyed with that when I was. What has Henry Cavill got that I don't? Said Steve softly. <laughs> anyway, right, back to where we were in the film rather than jump into the end. Sorry. So, skip the so yeah, the We audience. could jump to the end. I'm quite happy with that. Yeah. So, <laughs> Thanks Super- for listening, guys. You can find uh, us at the YouTube. Jesus. Usual. Superman <laughs> wants to give himself up. Yes. And I'm not quite sure who the villainous woman is, but she's she's Vaura. very good at. Hmm? Vaura? Vaura? Is that her name? Vaura. Vaura. She goes to pick up yeah. Superman down. and she also demands Lois Lane, who give dutifully her gives herself up. Which would you really? I don't know. Well, they, they, I mean, she's, uh, you, you, Davey, de, 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 Mr. Stobie, Davey, you'll know the better. <laughs> uh, comic book dude. Is she fearless and reckless like that in the comics? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yes. Okay, so that's so that's playing in the comics. She's that's pretty bad ass in the yeah. comics at times. Yeah. So that actually rings quite. That's that, that rings quite true. Then that's not so bad. Yeah. But I'm think where where I thought you might have been going was no human, right? If this actually happens, right? Aliens and ver. You're not gonna get somebody sitting there going. Yes, okay, I'm going to go. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm going to go in the alien ship. She wanted this, the, the Chan- scoop, though. <laughs> Chances are that she's already... She knows what Superman can do. You're going to assume that others can do the same because people assume that it's an ability that Kryptonians have, mm-hmm. which it sort of is, but it actually isn't. It's to do with when they hit Earth's atmosphere. Yeah, it's drinking so, in the, drinking the young the, the yellow radiation. sun. Yeah. But if you imagine that there's a ship full of Superman type characters and she's seen the extent of his powers, also the technology of his ship, she's probably thinking, well, I could get all of these soldiers killed and then go with them or just go with them. See the, see the whole like the sun thing affecting Kryptonians? <sighs> I get it from the moon. Like, well, I, I was going to say, would it not be quite an interesting theory to test out with like a swimming pool full of energy juice and put all your swimmers into it and just fucking see them... <laughs> That'd be amazing. You just swim out the edge of the pool and just keep going. <laughs> Fucking dry land. Phelps. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently he drinks a lot of Red Bull. Like a lot of energy drinks. And oh, as part he, of it. I, I read it. I read something it was about his diet, was. diet at Olympics. And it was monstrous. Mental. It was like yeah, but the guy's genetically engineered to some, swim. Oh, he could probably crazy. eat donuts his, enti- his entire <clears throat> life and still be perfect shape for mm. swimming. Well, <clears throat> there's two things to say about that. Well, there is a small hands. amount of people who can process um, glycogen really, really well. So, you know, you get those... X-Men. Really it's evolution. In- yeah, it's evolution. You get those annoying people that are like naturally ripped and muscular and they eat mm-hmm. junk food. And eat a lot of like carbs and cakes and donuts or whatever, right? You probably know someone like that, right? Yeah, look at him. I see him in the mirror. Yeah, well, mm. you you know how it is, right? Mm. Yeah, yeah. You, so you obviously pro- process glycogen in a different way, and you can handle a high amount of carbohydrates, you and you can't burn it up handle the carbs, and it makes you just it just keeps you going, right? But also, it's to do with his work capacity. So if he's burning, he might be burning five thousand calories a day for the amount of time he's in the pool. And then the weight training, and then whatever else. So then, in terms of his work capacity, it's going to always increase year by year. Mm. And come train with Alpha Fitness because I know stuff. Let's get back to Superman. <laughs> That's where I was going with it. If you didn't, yeah. So let's go and try and finish off the Man of Steel. So um, no, that was yeah. The... So they're, they're up in the ship. Um, Zod's trying to get Cal to come to the dark side. Got to do it for Krypton, you know. Gets into his brain. Krypton bros. Yo, what are you doing to these earthlings? I've got, I brought my terraforming device. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, Let, we'll get to that in a minute. So this is one of the problems I had with the film. One of my notes that I took. The wanton destruction. No. No, no. Um, it was the helmet, the breathing apparatus that they gave. Um, Amy Adams. Amy Adams. Uh-huh. It looks cool. It's fine. You know, they put the helmet on. <laughs> And it, you know, whatever. Massive and I'd, I'd be, I'd be almost inclined to believe that you don't need a full suit because obviously air would still get in the bottom. But even if it somehow stuck to her body in some way, that it stopped. And a rubber seal around her neck. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's how I, that's how I was. I okay. Was so even that. if it was that, because I also thought about that, her hair was still sticking out. Of the back, <laughs> which would break the seal. Which would break the seal. Oh my god! Get, did you? Do you know Krypton, what this means? Does it cut me? DCEU are fucked up. Oh, dude, dude, don't go there. Holy shit! <laughs> How did that happen? 
Okay, so not to say though that the fluid would be that <laughs> good at getting around all the fibers of the hairs and still building the perfect seal around it. But the, the, the air if your hair can get, get through, the air can get through. Yeah, because air's shorter than hair. Yeah, and that's One that's what bothered me. If you go she right sh- down to picometers, she should have been I'm wearing her hair tight. H every hair fall. A I R. A I R. It's shorter. Oh God, right. <laughs> but it. But also, Sorry. you were right. <laughs> I'm trying to go into science, man. Come on. Fucking picometers. Pico's a fucking alien from F Zero and the SNES, SNES man. Oh, I don't know that. Yeah, the thing I alien. Picometer is one to the E minus to anyway, right? I'll try. The hair thing. Every girl would have noticed it. Yeah, the I think hair sticking out. because they'll know. Plus you. Probably. Plus me. How many? How many? Females that say about you? Think, how many females do you think went to see Man of Steel when it came out in cinema? That weren't taken on a date by their other half because they wanted to go and see it. Twenty five percent of Wonder Woman. You think? Yes. Generally went to go and see Man of Steel four yes. years ago, not on a date. They went of their own free will with their girlfriends. I'm assuming that's that's. I know it's a generalisation. Always other dudes or whatever. Okay, yeah. I, I'll say fifteen to twenty percent still. That, that's quite. High. Because well, yeah. Because I go to the comic book shop uh, mm-hmm. in Perth. Um, and there's maybe 15% women there that mm. turn up, I would suggest. Possibly more. I mean, it's not like I'm there all the time. I'll just pop in. And if there's three bros, there's going to be probably a girl there, which actually makes it a bit higher. But I'm I mean, I reckon yeah, that'd be like 20%. The, one yeah. in five. Yeah. I reckon the overall split would have been like 65, 35. But if you take away all the, the how many 35% were taken on a date or on a night out, we could always talk about how many people it deserved to have go see it. <laughs> Let's move on, shall we? Anyway, that hair bit really annoyed me. I think that, mm-hmm. I think that one of these big studios should hire me to do their continuity. When I was filming The Balance, people took the piss out of me because I was so anal about continuity in every scene. And they were like, oh no, it's the continuity. David will get you. And it Did fucking... you film it in order? No. Ah, see, and that's where continuity is. That's where you need the continuity problem. Film most of it in order, actually. Mm. Hardly any films are filmed in order. <coughs> but I know, and that's, that's where that's, you get so many problems. That's, but that's and where... The editors it, in post-production, don't, people don't pick there's up. There's no continuity errors in that film. I'll take credit for that. In the balance? Yes. For sure. For fucking death in it. But um, is it up on the site? No, it should be. We've got a YouTube that we say. Should I, be. I'd love to get Ben on to talk about it when he yeah. talks about his new film. Mm-hmm. When his new film eventually comes out. Mm-hmm. His new film's good. I've seen an advanced screen of it. <laughs> anyway, I don't think I'm allowed to even say that. But Right, okay. Really <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, Clark uh, Clark faints because of the Kryptonian air, which manages to like, yes. affect his lungs, and he coughs up a whole bunch of blood, and then he wakes up strapped to a chair, mm-hmm. and Lois, they keep Lois because reason, and they throw her into is a, a room in the just, ship. Is it just natural... <clears throat> Prisoner of war, you take one of your enemy. Yeah, we have a human. You think so? Board, Surrender. <laughs> it so happens that she's a famous human. Reasonably famous. Because they people talk about her. They've got this Lois Lane, you know, that the Pulitzer Prize winning. Or, I think she's, think got she's the only one who actually refers to herself as a Pulitzer Prize winning. <clears throat> do, do you think then that they maybe know, they maybe aren't sure why Lois is she is, but the fact that she was named on TV as. Lois is the one who knows who he is. I think also... They're thinking, oh, all right, let's just keep her around. They've check. probably sensed there's something between her and the Tudor as well. Yeah, so... so. <laughs> he's so confused. He's Everyone a, else is. He's in a TV show called The Tudors. Oh, I never watched That's that. why he was making his money before Superman. Ah, mm. oh, That's who was paying the bills. Sense. But he was also... <clears throat> the man from Uncle. Yes. Uh, but, but he was also in Hellraiser Part 8... No. Yes, he was. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can we just take weekend? a moment like to appreciate? Video in her, her yeah, her that there's a Hellraiser eight. There's nine of the damn That's things, and there's a tenth one coming out this year. Made, yeah. yeah, me and me and oh, me. Oh, a the guy with a face like a hedgehog. Brilliant. So in Hellraiser eight, he plays a general um, sort of American jock? teenage kid. He's not a jock. No, not bad for a guy for Jersey. But he he has to simulate getting a blowjob. From well, it from was some posted woman. on this. It was posted on the, on the Instagram, on the, uh, and it's bloody hilarious because it's really bad. <laughs> and then he gets killed off, and he looks so. He basically remember, remember the Smallville guy. 
Tom Welling. Tom, Welling, yeah. yeah. He looks like a cross between Henry Cavill and Tom Welling, <laughs> but just because it's ten years ago. All right, cool. <laughs> or twelve years ago by this point in time. So you, you like the progression is actually kind of it kind of works, you know. Mm, funny. Anyway, a little bit of trivia for you. He's in Hellbound Eight. No, he's in Hellboy Eight. Hellboy Eight, Hellbound Eight, Hellraiser Eight. <laughs> Hellraiser 8. It was you said Hellbound, Hell... I said Hellboy. Hellraiser <laughs> 8, which is called Hellbound. Hellworld. Who Hellworld, cares? I think. Anyway, let's move it on. Let's move it on. Um, so they're up in the ship. Keith Amy and... Adams about. She happened to have the key because when they were sitting waiting, Soup's just slid it to her. Not in, I'm not, not, yeah. And this <laughs> is the worst. slipped her one. <laughs> this is the worst bit of the film. So I thought you were going to say. This is the just absolute bit worst. Out of space. This, this bit here. The fact that she is so fucking the accurate with the gun. They've not had the fight in Smallville yet. Have we... No, no, we've not that had the fight straight that... after this. Yes. yes. Fine, yep. So this is the worst bit of the film and this mm-hmm. made me switch it off the first time I was watching it. Rage quit! I rage quit. Because huh? Russell Crowe turns up yes. with apparent... Apparently he's got new memories and they're up... To, like he's, what is he? A, a, a artificial he's intelligence, AI. basically. He's an AI, yeah. He's an AI. But it just, it's fucking bullshit. He built that ship. And he starts going like, we built turn, this ship. turn left, we shoot, ship. boom, and she shoots this we guy. This ship and right. turn right we'll and shoot that guy. Right. Okay, so, yeah, okay. Dude, I, I, I really love just that. the. I get it. <laughs> it's fucking stupid. <laughs> it looks chief, bullshit. He was the chief science officer of Krypton. So he would have been in charge of building the ships. Uh-huh. He's like the chief engineer, right? So he probably. And there's a lot of. Um, Kryptonians built things very close to being like biologically rather than. Don't look at me. Adequate. You're on your own here defending the film. <laughs> no, I'm just I mean, it, okay. Wait, anyway, whatever. Okay, we'll keep going. Keep going. Keep going. No, no, you're kind of so, me. Um, so you're saying that he would know the full layout of the ship, which I understand, and yeah, be able to override even if he's it. AI and be able to override it. Yes, and 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 the, and the AI would be sentient enough to be aware of what is moving on the ship. So what's projecting him? Pressure pan. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, well, see that's, that. That that's... then gets into just the, the whole sci-fi, the fact that you just have to, uh, you just have to go. With it's the alien that. infrared it's alien technology. technology. Yeah, that that exists in in Kryptonian world, right? Doesn't exist for us. We haven't got. The they use the pin do... art oh, for the AI. Wait a minute, like we can bring Tupac right to rap on stage, okay? In a, an Elvis yes, in we can't. Form. No, no, no. I mean, it's like humans, right? Right. Okay? In hologram form, and you can go and see. Dead yeah, but the, but there's a there's a source right. and it's it's limited into where it can put him. Okay, so what's to sort of say that there's like hundreds of tiny little cameras? There you go, there's hundreds of tiny yeah. What he said, little, little projectors. There we go, and they're just like okay. Mm-hmm. And Amy Adams can defeat two or three Kryptonian soldiers who with are their born own weapon. with one purpose to be soldiers and killers. Well, yeah. That's, so, that's assuming that the, the, the guys Zod picked up were pure born bred killers. Not oh, not just, not just Phantom Zone bombs. Uh, well, yeah, he might. You know, Zod was. If, if I was Zod, right, and I'm building a little army, you're gonna have you're gonna have to have your. So she got guy, the chef and the fucking. Chef, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's where I'm going, right? He's he, if he was sensible about it, he would create a group. It wouldn't be just. So she Jimmy, she killed Jimmy Chef Allen, right? <laughs> you know, Bang goes meatloaf for a week, you know, <laughs> while he recovers in the hospital. <laughs> fucking, oh, there's a there's a there's How an outtake where Zod and fucking f- what's her name? Fira. F- Just Zod and Fira. eating beans out of a can, you know. <laughs> Grim faces as fuck. <laughs> I, I did Lois Lane beat, <laughs> beat Chef up. Allen in the background, full body cast. <laughs> the, the place is completely filthy. She killed Chef Allen and the janitor and, and janitor Mike. <laughs> John the Journey. Uh, oh. yeah, I'm, I'm with you. Okay. Anyway, anyway, anyway. I I dislike that, but so, you've 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 convinced me a little bit. Well, while that's happening though, um, Jor El has changed the atmosphere of the ship and made it a little less Kryptonian, a little bit more like Earth. What does that do? Soups gets back to his own self. He's not so debilitated. Kaboom! Here we go. Shouldn't the other Kryptonians have noticed that though and been like, <gasps> oh, I started, like yeah, feeling a bit worse. <sighs> Don't know. Kind of like Steve when he's trying to recover. Yeah, they should have yeah. had an asthma attack. <laughs> but anyway, we finally get to a bit of bit of action. Wanton destruction. Mm, god, god fun. fighting, basically. Yeah. Yeah. No. Ooh. It was. You, you know what I liked about that, right? And I did like it. Was Superman had enemies to fight, 
who could match him and actually like they could beat him. Mm-hmm. It's rare to have that in Superman. He gets oh, like they did deliberately make it a two on one. Yeah, but he gets like in the comics he gets Doomsday who beats the shit out of him, kills him, mm-hmm. you know, and stuff like that. But generally in films they don't really do too well in finding someone to match Superman. No, no, that's true. So they did do quite well here, although I didn't like how he said to Zod, Ha ha! You know what your problem is? You've not been focusing! Yeah. Now you know. <laughs> and, yeah. and Zod's like, Oh, maybe I oh, should focus. Fuck, I should totally focus. I need yeah, to try that he was, later he on. He was suffering without the breathing. Yeah, he was, right? Um, so anyway, the ship comes, takes him away. They leave to Faura and henchmen, super massive dude. Who I think I is, who is, who is, who I think is a, uh, a friend of mine named Martin Ford. Oh, yeah. Well, there's a. I mean, he's like he's like like head and shoulders over everyone else in every scene he's in. <laughs> well, he, he, he there's a big giant bald guy yeah. at the start of the film, yeah, and it looks like he's got some tattoos around his neck, mm-hmm. and he's like six eight, six nine. I did just message him, but I don't know if he'll get back to us because he's mm. busy lad. Um, but if if it wasn't this guy, mm. I could imagine it being this guy. Oh, I know you know about that guy, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's him, but it could be. I know what you mean, yeah. I didn't think he was... I thought it was him from a distance. I didn't think he was as mentally muscular as that dude. Oh, okay. Um, But, yeah, he was big. He was totally like that. Big, bald, massive... Anyway. This Um, is what he looks like beside a regular-sized woman. It's insane. He's in Kingsman, the gold (laughs) man. Look at... This is is how he would look beside you. (laughs) <laughs> size disparity. He should be a um, tyrant from Resident Evil. Yes. <laughs> this, uh... this is how he'd look beside me. Still massive. <laughs> and I'm being generous to myself in a big way. Look at the Jeez. nick of that, eh? Jeez. Yeah, Martin Ford, he does a lot of, he does a lot of film, film work yes. because obviously, well, the I mean, size of him, I, he's, look he, at him. You can easily, he's, he's probably top of the extras list. He is not <laughs> listed. And is he not? No. I was conv- I was totally convinced I saw him there. Yeah, I was like, holy shit. Someone. However, he has exceeded Man of Steel in terms of accolade on his film credits. Mm-hmm. He's been in Benidorm, the TV series. Oh, Jesus. So there you go. That's better than Man of Steel. Oh, for fuck's sake. So, Battle of Smallville. Anyway, so, shout out to Martin but, Ford. If you're into fitness stuff, give him a follow. He's, he writes some pretty inspiring stuff also he looks crazy fucking monstrous it's like huge. he makes he makes the mountain look like a fucking bitch right yeah I want to see the mountain's now a molehill <laughs> the mountain just looks a bit chubby compared to I want Martin. to see the mountain next to him the, the both bits he might mm. but well belt build wise so what do you think uh, Martin's more defined yeah yeah. So he might look bigger in pictures, so he might actually not be quite as big as mm. as the mountain. He won't be as strong as the mountain, I really think, because ah, the mountain's a mountain's professional well, strongman. Yeah. Speaking of strong builder. people fighting. Yep. Superman, Superman. fighting! Yeah. Um, so Battle of Smallville happens, is over. <laughs> the Delta Force on the ground, like, they, they, they lower, you know, it's like the acceptance, like, okay, he's one of ours, it's all good. And then uh, Soup's... Aye, that took a lot of bullets to fucking stop shooting at him, though. It's like they kept shooting him. They shot him in the face at one point, and he still rescued the guy straight away. I know. You know, it's like they kept shooting him and going, oh, look, the bullets aren't even, like, damaging his suit. Mm -hmm. You know? (laughs) Maybe we should stop. Yeah, what's the deal with the suit? The suit's unrippable. It's like Mr. Fantastic. I want to be made of the suit. The suit does not tear. He crashes through a fucking mountain at one point. And the soup is well, it must intact. Next week, but that's for next week's story. Uh, anyway, so did the suit? What the f- doomsday? Ah, you know, you know, yeah. Spoilers. But we're on. We're on. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm in so Man of Steel land here. Week. That's why I'm saying it rips next week. Anyway, okay. so he has a fight <clears throat> with the chick and the big monstrous guy. Kind of whoops them because they're not used yep. to their powers yet. As as yeah, much, do I don't know. Like, she had that yeah. well. She had that very her, well. Her powers she are pretty. Where, um, she's where like she was taking on the, the humans and like whipping through them. Super fast, just yeah, them I was actually she's, cool. she's cool. Yeah, she was a really good villain. She was actually probably better than Zod. Yeah, and it was just something about the death. She gets the knife out. It was like I uh, just, yeah. yeah, she was good. Anyway. There's something good about an honourable death. Now, or something I've, like I've that. got something to say here, and Dave is going to take it the wrong way. But I did. Well, he's, annoyed the fuck up. he's annoyed now because we're nearly at the hour mark. Yeah, it's nearly we're still, we're still We're still about three quarters of the way through the film. <laughs> I know. But it, it was really warm last, last night, night and I was really full and I, I think I fell asleep for about ten minutes. I'm not surprised watching Man of Steel. I was quite tired 
and I've been training really hard. And... With Alpha Fitness, <laughs> wink <laughs> wink. <laughs> <laughs> eating, eating really well. Through Alpha Fitness, wink wink. Yes. And, I'm uh, actually winking, I don't know why I'm winking at a microphone. <laughs> you, you, you can, we, can we discuss this later? <laughs> yes. Um, so I don't I'm know how the fight disgusting. ended there. I don't know what happened. I, I mean, I know, he, right. I know he beat them, but I don't know. I know Zod got taken away in the ship. Zod overloaded again on his powers uh, and got taken away. And then saw that they got their asses handed to them. I can't remember how. Fire is sealed. Did um, she, I? Did she not get taken out by a missile it, so. or something like that? Oh, the nuke. Yeah, or well, I'm assuming it was, it was no, in a missile. nuke. It's a missile. Sorry, a missile. You don't nuke Smallville. Okay, right, sorry. A missile, yeah, a missile that went, and she just put the hand out to stop it because she was like super badass. But it must have like knocked her out. Should they not well. be called Hitile? Wow. Um, <laughs> what happened God. to the What happened to the big guy who is now maybe not Martin? Well, he uh, um, soups 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 um, bashed him off into the uh, train yard. <laughs> <laughs> no, <God. laughs> no, no, no. Soups bashed him off. Right. Yeah, no, no, smashed him right. Fucking and, super and speed on it as well. Train and, 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 and it all blew up. But then later on, he launched the train back at Superman. No, he picked up Fowler, or whatever the name is, and took well, her was, away. Was it him? Oh, okay, I wasn't too yeah. sure. Yeah, because yeah, he yeah. ends up on he the ship later back. on when they all get sucked off. <laughs> End of the black no, hole. No. Aye. Yeah. Okay, so... I started this, I'm sorry. We, yep. we, go to the, we go to regroup phase, basically, yes. and Zod's like, you know what? Terraforming time, bitches. Mm-hmm. And he uses the, the part world of the ship machine. that he... The what? World machine. The world machine goes at one end of the world and his ship is at the other end and they just kind of... like they start pummeling the earth. Fuck <laughs> yeah, basically in pummeling the, the earth. In the Indian Ocean, which is not geographically possible. Oh, is it? Is it? Fa- fanboys were kicking, we were kicking off when I was reading about this this morning. It was hilarious. These world-forming <laughs> machines, all that was missing was a high five. Yes, mm-hmm. Absolutely. Spit roasted the world, man. Oh god! There we yeah. go. <laughs> Steve's head is just not at the dirty, the dirty yeah, jokes well. level, is it? No. no what is, what is sensible that? and actually remember? What does it mean by us? Uh, we're probably Randy bastards. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we are. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, so the the Come main on, mini me, give it a little me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for all three listeners that are now left, <laughs> one being you, <laughs> one not being Ian. <laughs> We've not mentioned Ian until now. Oh, Make fun of him. Um, um, I will. Was he not meant to arrive tonight? Quentin Tarantino. Fuck him. <laughs> Kill Quentin. <laughs> Um, He's just sitting at the oh, door, dear. playing on his phone, oh, waiting. Guys, with his, uh, with his guys. manly knock, <laughs> which is worse than Steve's. Oi. Steve's like... You do a fucking bitch oh, knock, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. You're lucky he was here, I you'd be standing... Smash the door down. Standing. Does he look like a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Does he look like a bitch? <laughs> well, why are you trying to fuck him like a bitch, Brad? <laughs> Thumbs that from? What film was that from? Eh. <laughs> well, I don't know. I, the bit that you were Does he look like a, bitch. like a bitch? That's Dave Chappelle pretending to be Samuel Jackson in the Chappelle show. Uh-huh. About Samuel L. Adams' beer. And Samuel L. Jackson in, in what film? Well, I don't know. Well, okay. why are you trying to fuck him like a bitch, Brad? Pulp Fiction? Yes. Yes. Okay, that was for you, Ian. Yes. Did that for you. Yeah. We're not slagging you. We're supporting you. Support. We're going to do the Tarantino thing. The Tarantino next year. dance. Woo-hoo, woo-hoo. Next year, at some point, twenty eighteen summer. <laughs> we think maybe based on the schedule. <laughs> Wait, what? Well, we're doing no. You, you have a couple of weeks off then. Right. If Ian pitches up. Right, fine. What? If oh, we're doing a Tarantino doing session, Tarantino. I'm out. Tap him. You kidding me? Damn loser! Oh, fucking Reservoir Dogs and Pulp Fiction are so overrated. You could be like, you could be like, really. Um... That'd be brilliant for you to just fucking rag on them. <laughs> I'm ragging on Man of Steel. Let's get back to Man of right, Steel. Okay. So, um, they use the world builder and Superman's mm-hmm. like, shit, I need to go and do something about this. Yeah. Zod. I'm going to go and attack the one on the other side of the world, not the one in the city. That yeah, I'm not, not the one that I'm close to because yeah, someone else is going to hit that. I can get to the other one in time. Well, but. America can attack the one in America. Fuck yeah. I think so, yeah. 
Fuck yeah. Don't worry, army. You got this. I'll go and get the one on the other side. Also, if he goes and ta- attacks the one in Morica, it means that Zod and all the team are there, whereas if he goes and attacks the other apparatus, it's not got anyone guarding it. Mm. Or so he thinks, apart from it's got the weird CGI yeah, fucking tentacle thing. Which I didn't even bullshit. understand what happened with all that, to be perfectly I'm honest. I'm surprised that they sent it by itself. You know, we've got, this is my only terraforming machine that I've managed to salvage from the outpost. It's because Zod's a fucking shit general. Let's, yeah. let's do a coup <laughs> while the world's blowing up. Zod, you fucking suck. I was only bred for one purpose. You've got a shitty beard as well. Military knowledge. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah, as, as much as he out. says I was bred for one purpose, it was like, yeah, you to were, fuck you, things up. You, 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 you were the cleaner the in the military, <laughs> <laughs> to and lose, everyone else to died lose, to lose to Cal L. That yeah, sole purpose. Um, <laughs> to be so a yeah, fucking so he's, failure. He's a, wee, he's a wee down south. Well, they down south. Whatever. Other side of the world, smashing up the terraforming machine, um, and succeeds. Now, but only after the terraformer machine has pummeled the shit out. Yeah, is it, it, came, it's, it is it Gotham? No, and... it's not Gotham, is it? It's just like New York or it's, Metropolis. It's, it's, it's Metropolis. Metropolis. It's yeah, fucking yeah. Metropolis. And the so buildings it's... are falling, and, and it was actually that. See, when the buildings started falling, mm-hmm. I was like, "Yes, BVS, yes, <laughs> yes." Okay, I, I was. One I was destruction in a minute. Yeah, <laughs> I was... my brogies <laughs> are. If I if this was a year ago, he might have broke it, but he just hit solid steel there. Oh, he's been on the program. <laughs> he's been on the program. You do look a lot more hench, huh? Uh, apparently you so. You got a comment on Mark there? Uh, yeah, yeah. Apparently so. Mm-hmm. It's a work in progress. Mm-hmm. I've started getting the "Are you using drugs?" questions again, which is always oh, good. I know. Well, You're like, yes, paracetamol for all these fucking headaches you people give me. <laughs> Um, so, yes, where are we at now then? So, uh, yeah, he, oh yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Right, there's been a bone of contention about whether this was actually deliberate or whether it's just a clever camera trick. When Soups is, um, figures out how he's going to defeat the world engine and he flies up the beam into it. Yeah? Right. And you get that shot of him going up and for a second you think you see Christopher Reeve. Yes or no? Yeah, no, i seen that. i seen that. Huh? He looks like Christopher Reeve at one point when he's flying into the world former. It's almost like saying, "This is what I'll look like when I'm older." Well, well, oh, right. well this is really this is yeah. Right. This is okay. No, it's been out. It's been out there, but people are like, some people defend it. See, I can see it, but I think I can see it because of people have someone, mentioned it. No, I know they mentioned it. it to me well, though. Yeah, it's almost like they just briefly CG'd. Cavill's face to Chris Reeve and then back. To Why would Cavill they do that? Very quickly. I don't know, but it's a very clever. Right, he's he's it's, it's beaming down against him, so that you've got skin manipulation on your face, right? You you know because it's like flapping back, like you're in like, you know, right wind and stuff, and just and you can't so, play it. It's got sound. No, I can play it. I've switched my sound off, dumbass. And right then, here he goes. So he's like and then, straining for a fart. He uh-huh. fires up, and there, there like. See Christopher Reeve. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't. Th- I don't think it's CGI it's, though. I think so it's just they think it's a clever camera prick. Camera prick. A camera prick. A camera prick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was it just a clever camera? No, trick I don't think it's the way the CG worked. But it, I think it was just a happy quinky day. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah, they always pick happens. people who look like Christopher Reeve. Brandon yeah. Ruth. Yeah. Looked yeah. like a modern day version of Christopher mm-hmm. Reeve. Yeah, they always did. aim for that. Mm-hmm. Cavill looks like a jacked version because they go for yep. the dark hair, you know. Yep. Chiseled. Aye. So mm-hmm. I've seen that and I've seen mm-hmm. it there and you've seen it there. Yep. But yes. I, I don't think it's anything more than just not, how it happened. I wasn't deliberately put in, yeah. No, but now that you've said sure it, I'll that. never unsee it. Well, yeah, that's it, yeah. yeah. That's like that time I walked in on my parents. Oh, God, Jesus, no. That's <laughs> that time I walked in on your parents. What? <laughs> 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 so Soups defeats World Engine Hightails it back to Metropolis Yep Morica's not doing too well against Zod ship No But uh, Jor-El conveniently told Amy Adams How to defeat The ship and was up. Yeah now Fire them into the, the fan, negative fan, so, Oh fan, sorry fan, that's horrible Here's how it got a little bit iffy for me So Zod went Went this off. is where it got iffy. Z- Zod went off on his own mission to go and get, get Kal-El's ship. Yeah, to get Martha. No, he wanted the key. He wanted the he codex. The he thought the codex was in the ship. 
So they went together. But he flew the ship back, didn't he? And then the plot twist, the Codex was in Superman's blood. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So why did he go and steal Kal-El's ship? Because he thought the Codex was going to be there. Yes. Yeah. We just said that. And then him and jor had another conversation which the AI version of jor was able to know a whole bunch of stuff it shouldn't have known. And mm-hmm. that was bullshit. It's been plugged into the internet. That's where he no, was, I, just, that's where, that's I fucking where, hate everything with Russell Crowe in this that's film. That's where Zod was trying to get yeah, the Gladiator uh, alone. birthing program back on, back on track. Just what the fuck? Terraform in the world. And he's going to start building his own Kryptonian people to do whatever he wants. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. Yeah, right, fine, ball, fine. He gets ball rolling. So what's the thing that Amy Adams had? They were, so they, the they took... Titties. No, no. Chocolate titties. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Milky bar titties, possibly, but... Are you going to have to explain it's, it? it's, no. it's a Vince McMahon, it's an impression of Vince McMahon oh, okay. by Bruce Pritchard oh, from that okay. podcast, the wrestling podcast I listened to. Is this one where you do the it's a heel? He's, He's a, a heel! heel. Yeah, oh, and he, he, you can't do that, you don't listen to the show. <laughs> okay, then. What? You were there, you witnessed that, when I, I went, He's a heel! and got told off. Oh, you did, yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's true. You did get but told off. Yes. Yeah, 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 because he's podcast, a heel! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I had to do that. But yeah, apparently Vince McMahon likes chocolate titties. <laughs> My impression so, of Vince McMahon is very close to Bruce Pitt- Pritchard's impression of him, I think. But maybe not. But neither are very as close to Vince as they should be. You know what? We're not as close to either. The finish of this yes. thing. Yes. So, what was the thing that Amy Adams had? In the... in the No, in the ship. No, in the ship. That Superman's... Bomb. Superman's ship that he Superman's arrived ship. in. Yeah, the ship that Superman arrived at Earth on. So what's the other ship that Zod was in? That's His own. The one no, he got to Earth in. Old, no, 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 no. no that's the, the other one they found. is an old Kryptonian scout ship that had crash landed for 20,000 years. Okay. Right, Remember now I'm with you. The ice around it. It was, a, it was an old Kryptonian uh, scout. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kryptonians have been yeah, out yeah, scouting yeah. And, and colonising. That's how they knew all the languages of Earth. Stuff. That's why I was confused. Because, because I was like, why is there... There's this ship, and then there's yeah, what no, is no, this no, thing no. from? Yeah. It's a big so pilot ship. So they were using Kal-El ship to. How were they using that to create the, the, the black phantom hole? Drive, phantom drive is that what they called it? Anyway, somehow it's the basically whole, yeah. the whole two negative bat. You know, two negative ends of a battery together is just a problem. <laughs> Don't like yeah. them. Yeah, all that stuff. So they were just doing it on a bigger scale with two alien ships, and they hoped that they would melt each other and create a new. And, and they did. They, they did manage that. Yeah. Yeah, because we need to move things forward. But well, conveniently, Lois Lane fell out of the plane before the suicide mission happened. Yeah, and even though this uh, this black hole syndrome was sucking everything in, she still managed to fall backwards. Yeah, and then Tudor caught her and flew away. Yeah. Under great strain. And we never stuff. talked about Water World getting sucked off by a tornado either. <laughs> and yeah, the, right. the life to find a well, moment. We'll maybe come to that yeah, in yeah. the likes and dislikes section. Right, okay. Well, 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 really, there's only one other thing that happened after that. So the, the end credits, thank for No, no, no. The superhero Smackdown. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. So he yeah. decides to go like, nah, I don't need my armour or nothing. I'm just going to like get in one. Mondays. He did say focus. Yeah, well, Is that what The Rock like, means? He's like, oh, I've honed your... Have you ever watched The Rock's workout videos and he goes, focus! Focus! Fuck off, because you're stupid. Focus. Wow, dad jokes. Um, Is that actually what he's meaning? I don't know. <laughs> no, I think it means focus on what you're doing. But maybe he is actually saying fuck off to people. <laughs> but because it, he's the rock, it's hilarious. I don't know. Maybe he's actually focusing his power so his brain doesn't explode because he's actually superhuman. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, maybe Zod is about to fight Kal El. Yeah, so they have this mega fight which is really like, CGI anyone, based. Does anyone else oh, think Zod looks just... like some kind of overgrown toddler? Oh, he just looked shit. Yeah, with his like cubic head. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, he's, and he's deliberately his um, sprayed on his, hair. His, uh, his fringe, mm. very, very deliberate and pristine ends on all. Of That's these. how I used to draw faces when I was in primary <laughs> school. <laughs> yeah. That he had his little uh, grey goatee bit going on. He had the the goatee to, <laughs> to signify that he had aged. Oh, because he didn't have it in the. Uh, which did I'm not quite sure why that would matter because yeah. he went through 300 cycles of inanim- inanimation. Well, but did he? Because the the destruction on Krypton damaged the 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 prison that they were in. The it's not Phantom Zone. 
so, which then released them, and then they spent. Then they had to scour the galaxy trying to find. Oh them. right. So okay. I don't think, even though they got the they girl got crystallized, age. they got crystallized and sent up. They didn't. Yeah, Faura. Oh. Yeah, she was a bit the same as well. But when they got crystallized and then sent up into the ship, and then it got in, locked in the ne- uh, Phantom Zone. God, I keep wanting to say Negative Zone. That's your fault because you mentioned it earlier. <laughs> um, <laughs> And and then the planet blew up. We don't know how much time passed, but it certainly wasn't the three hundred cycles or whatever it was meant to. So no, they weren't in prison not. very long, and then had to spend a while trying to find Kal-El. And the only reason they found it was because when Amy Adams. Um, See, I thought they I thought they mentioned it was three hundred cycles. They went. That it was they out. were they were sentenced for three hundred cycles. But anyway, we'll not right, worry yeah, about yeah, that okay. too much. We'll not worry about that so they have this big CGI mess fight, mm-hmm. uh, which is ca- it's quite it's quite cool, but also a little bit too CGI ish for mm-hmm. me. One just, thing, and it's just the problem. Sonic booms and smashing and buildings crumbling. It's the problem you have with Dragon Ball Z if you make it live action, because they can fly and and they can fight and they can fly and they've got fucking laser beams or uh, <laughs> spirit bombs for people that know Dragon Ball Z, and. It's kind of also the same problem they had in the Matrix in the third Matrix film. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It just becomes a bit too CGI messy for yeah. my liking. Yeah. One thing that people always said about Man of Steel, and the one criticism above all else was the amount of destruction towards the end of the film was just like off the charts. See if Superman had half a brain between his ears he would have grabbed Zod and flown him off to a mm-hmm. desert as best he could. Just like in the Avengers Age of Ultron, when yeah. Iron Man tries to get Hulk out of the city. He I fails, mean, but he tries. tries yeah, but I don't, think, I don't think Superman would have been able to do that. Also, Superman... yeah, It'd just be like, come at me, bro, and just fly backwards until he's well, out. But that's, right. really, that's, that's really, really that's his second real fight mm-hmm. ever. No, I suppose, yeah. But they've been all Somebody up, starts all a up. fight with you in a china shop. What are you going to do? Let's step outside, bro. Pick up the teapot and smash it around his head. Yeah, because yeah. it's going to break before it does any fucking damage. It might cut them, but it's china, it's delicate. Death by a thousand cuts. <laughs> <laughs> or one punch before you get to a thousand cuts. <laughs> but they, okay, so they're smashing each other, they go up out into space. Smashy, smashy. Smash the Wayne satellite, clever nod. And then. Oh, I never noticed that was Wayne satellite. I also never noticed it was Smallville that they fought in. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, when, how did you know that was Smallville? Uh, there was a big sign. I was I was kind of doing the. You it know, was you, so you're doing the, on the nose. The, 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 the nodding off, and then it, oh, zodding off. <laughs> so they're straight up in. So they're straight up into space. Yeah. Okay. They they hit the satellite, and what did they decide to do? Rather than coming down, and as you see, take the fight <laughs> If all the places in the world they were going to straight back to New fucking York. pinpoint Do accuracy. Fuck, fuck Metropolis, we haven't finished destroying the ship. Yeah, let's yeah. let's, let's just... go straight back down in there. Yeah. <laughs> go then, kill a hundred, keep going, a million keep going. more people, and then and then it gets to the end where where uh, Zod is is like it's kind of abrupt the way it happens gonna, actually. Yeah. The, the, he gets him in a sleeper hold and he's like yeah he's like I don't care I'm just going to zap these like these people humans. who just happen to be trapped in the corner you know I'm going to just zap them let's not and worry then about it goes fucking, that died in all the buildings we blew up and then it goes Bond villain with the little laser just heading towards them slowly and it's like <laughs> shark fin <laughs> laser cannons and sharks <laughs> every time you talk I like the film less every time you talk I like the film more <laughs> it's I'll win I'm it's easy for me <laughs> But, uh, the way he the way he snaps his neck is fucking yeah. epic. He's like, proper, bah! and there's a there's proper a proper shockwave. It's comes brilliant, out. right? Yeah. But it would have to be pure yeah. strength. I mean, you're talking like, yeah. have you ever seen the video where a hydraulic uh, press and piston, whatever, folds a piece of paper for the eighth time? Oh, and it can't do it. And no, it it ex- it's ex- the piece of paper explodes. Oh, the paper explodes? Yeah, the paper oh, explodes because of what? the force generated to fold this piece of paper in half. It's so great. Yeah. It just causes a tiny little explosion. For the eighth time. You can't fold you can't. a piece of paper in half more than seven times. It's physically it impossible. doesn't matter how big the piece of paper is. Any piece of paper, you cannot Shut fold it in half. Shut seven times. up. Really? You don't know You've never seen this. You oh, can't. It is dude. physically impossible. You know, you're YouTube later. Next week, bring me paper. <laughs> And we'll film it. 
You no, can't you... fold it more than eight <coughs> times or it'll explode. This this letter from no. Santander won't be impossible. Won't be useful. We <laughs> don't endorse any banks, oh, and there are other no, banking no, no, no. financial institutions you may use. Thanks, Steve. I didn't want to have to say all that. <laughs> you can't. No, there's a disclaimer at the bottom, remember I wrote one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. For all you cunts. So <laughs> <laughs> and that's and that's Chocolate pretty much the end. Yeah, and then the best bit of the film comes up. What the happens? It? No, before the end credits. Oh yeah, <laughs> Clark's <laughs> cycling towards the Daily Planet. Oh well, there's that. And yeah, he gets his job. Yeah, he's got his job at the Daily yeah. Planet with the glasses. And then, and then and he's and he's got the and, drone. And, and he's fucking his... Morpheus doesn't even recognise him, even though he's been fucking like this distance away from Superman. He still doesn't go. Oh, you are the one. Does he? No, oh, yes. And then you've got the bit where the the general. Uh, the, <laughs> I the, love that bit up until the. <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's just yeah, the fact that the general's just driving along this. I thing. thought that bit was pointless. It was just funny. Well, was just well not kind of totally the, pointless, but the bit of the girl no. was pointless. Yes, the girl was. Yeah, yeah, but the, the bit where like stop following me. I'm doing this on my own terms. I'm here to help you, but. And it, all, it also out. foreshadows. Stop following me. Twelve million dollars. Check it out. Stop following me. Um, why would I stop following you? Because I'm from Kansas. That means yeah, I'm, I'm totally American cool. As I can get. <laughs> and you're like, right, so I'll just... Canvas Kansas. Kansas. Yeah. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> yes, I do. And then he cycles cycles to the Daily Planet and he's like, yeah, he's, he's Clark Kent reporter now and, you know, him and Lois have got this kind of thing and wink, wink, nudge, nudge and then, yeah. boom, <laughs> Man of Steel. Yeah. And the rousing <clears> score... And the rising score. So, which is and no post credit like, scene. No post credit scene. Thank you, <laughs> fuck. Because mm-hmm. let's be honest, they that's didn't not, know what they were alluding to at that point. That's not Man of Steel. Thing at all, the way. They haven't done Man of Steel anything. being mm-hmm. part yes. of the DCEU squad. was an afterthought. Hmm? I reckon Man of Steel being part of the DCEU was not the intention when they made that film. No, no, they were just making a they were just making a Superman film. Yep, and then they but went. They did do enough clever nods. That it works okay. So they mm-hmm. had the yeah, yeah, Wayne, yeah, they had Lex Corp uh, vans. They had Wayne uh, Enterprise Tower in Metropolis mm-hmm. was glimpsed at one point. The satellite was Wayne Enterprises. Mm-hmm. So there was a couple of things yeah. that has helped tie in quite well. And I mean, Zach's obviously in charge of the DCEU, um, generally speaking, as an overseer. Mm-hmm. So you wonder if there was already talks, even when he was doing Man of Steel. There was always going to be an like, idea, you know. We, this may leave Leave it open. Else, so, yeah. yeah. Um, what I totally didn't know was Chris Nolan. Do you want to go for a pee real quick? No, David? I just want to put my Chris, um, Was Chris for Nolan was uh, part of the, yes. uh, the early team? Yeah, I, I totally forgot about it. Until and then he really looked at it, and thought about it, and read the script, and well, went, I'm out. Because there's a chance that Christian Bale was going to. They were wanting Christian Bale back as the Batman for it. Were they? Really? Yeah, they were desperate for Christian Bale to come back and, and be the Batman. He read the script and went, yeah, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> and he'd be like, Where is it? How am I going to fight? Anyone in this, I can't I should, even fight Lois. I should have known from rewatching the opening credits because Syncope was uh, in the opening credits as well, and that's only because that's Chris Nolan's. Yeah. Oh, okay, right. Did you write any notes down for this film? I don't. You don't think he's notes. done enough? No. No. Okay. <laughs> right. No, no. no. I've I've you've written some on. notes. Yep. Okay. The only two things I want to talk about on purpose were I've mentioned already, which was Cavill's effort at getting into shape. Mm-hmm. And that stupid girly bit at the end that almost ruined the film. Oh, right. Wait, almost ruined the film. Here's some of the notes that I have about the film. <laughs> That's what almost ruined the film. Do you have any notes, David? No, I've got a gripe. Okay. The girly bit at the end was what almost ruined the film. I enjoyed it. The opening credits fucking ruined the film. Carry oh on. Oh, God, no. <sighs> yeah. Okay. It's like, this is going to be great, DC. Fuck. Did anyone else notice that the prison tubes that um, Zod and his team are encased in look like penises? <laughs> yes. No, I, I thought, thought I thought, thought there was a team of dildos. I thought, I thought they were pawns <laughs> from a chess set. No, uh, it was fucking dildos, right? It was right? a team of dildos. It was dildos with a fucking sack. Space dildos off into the sky. Straight up. But we've established Steve's brain wouldn't go there. But you saw it, right? Yes, I saw can the you, dildos. Can you find it for him and show him? Yes, okay. Yes, yes. I'm about it. Man it of Steel totally dildos, like it. that's well, going to well, bring well, up some well, great why results. Call, why don't you call them butt plugs then? Is that where you go to? They had that shape, did they not? Kind of, I thought it was a pawn from a chess set. Man no, of it was Steel, literally a Man fucking Man of Steel dog. dildos was not the right thing to look up. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it is! Superman 2013, <laughs> flying dildos! Yes. Oh no. 
Trogda! Oh, okay, so he's My got one up at his bum. Look at that face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's been dildoed. He, he quite. I like how the. Sc- I will find him! Oh, for the love of good fuck, man. What That's kind of Wi Fi are you on here? I will find him! You're not I, on my Wi Fi. I, I, I am on your Wi Fi. Yeah, the, 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 the actual, that scene you're talking about where he's about to get frozen, he's just like proper. I will find him! I will find him! He's, ack, he's, ack, like, ack. he's almost manic. Yeah. Absolutely manic. Ack, ack. And it, it, ack, ack. Confused me just a little. Like, like, dildos! Dildos! It's even got the fucking see, base of the fucking boss act. still don't see it. It gives yeah, like the yeah, steam yeah. power too. It like, looks like a the... fucking cock! <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I was like, Martin Ford is riding a giant space <laughs> cock into the Phantom is Zone. Is that what you've just sent him? Is that no, why he's not replied to you? No, but I should, I should say that. I should have said that to him. It'd, it'd be funny if he sent back, no, I wasn't in the giant cock scene. <laughs> um, okay, so I... I wanted to see if anyone else knows the penis thing, and, and you all did. Uh, I brought. No, up we the... didn't. <coughs> he didn't. Oh yeah, you did. Fifty percent of your audience here did. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think a lot of the audience would have. No, your audience here. Oh, physically here. Right. Yeah, um, but on the podcast, people will know this. Me. I think that starring off on Krypton was the wrong idea. You think? Yes, mm-hmm. because I think it makes it really hard for people to get into the film. Mm-hmm. I think you need to. Start off on Earth, mm-hmm. and 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 I think. And this is your end. origin story, Carl, and then goes into. Well, sort of. I, I think it's fine if you have Superman wandering the wilderness, being being mm-hmm. Joe, right? So, so that second bit, put that yeah. at the beginning, and then you then you can have even have his flashbacks being a kid. So you're like, okay, so we're not doing, we're not going to go through him going to fucking preschool and everything. He's already a man, yep. so we know all these bits are going to be short. So that's fine. And then when he finds the ship, then when he finds then the ship, Joel's doing the. What happened? Uh, that could also incorporate. Is Jorel played minutes. by Russell Crowe? Yeah. All right, I've got that. His name is Captain Exposition. <laughs> is that not right? I don't think so. Captain <laughs> Exposition. No. <laughs> I thought that was his name. <laughs> he, he pretty much was like here to spoon feed the plot. So I would have rather he said, "Well, my are son, are you not entertained?" <laughs> this is what happened prior to you being sent to Earth from Krypton <laughs> and then we got the start of the film which I think would have been way better like some sort of like here's the fucking helmet you wear and you're going to see the images or whatever or the image or however <laughs> they do it right <laughs> and that means that okay you went to see the Superman film Superman's on the screen straight away but what the fuck's he doing well, he's not being Clark Kent but he's not being Superman what's all this okay so you literally in the first two minutes of the film he's saving someone so you're like, cool, this is good. Do the flashback stuff. <laughs> no point did I say that in this film. And and then you get the exposition bullshit all t- like just as opposed to having Russell Crowe just popping up constantly throughout the fucking film. Like Fighting wait around the world. Wait until about a quarter of the way in and then get the crow in there. Because I was I've switched on and I'm like I didn't I didn't think I was watching a Russell Crowe film. And it's weird to start off the film with a character regardless of the fact that he's a well-known actor or not that's not like actually the main the protagonist main, yeah. mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. so I think they did that wrong mm-hmm. but I do like the fact that they they did it in, in a non-sequential order I just would rather I would just move that at the end mm-hmm. actually if I was I might just edit it that way <laughs> um, so there's that the buff geek cut the buff geek cut oh, I tried to do that before on the YouTube channel got taken down <laughs> yeah. I also don't like the style of Krypton you know? No, I don't. I don't like all the silver CGI bullshit. Mm-hmm. It's cheaper than coloured CGI. <laughs> I know that, but it just it just looked. I don't know if it is or not. But... It, it looked <sighs> like globs of paint flying, globs of grey paint. So I I've just like seen that. pictures today of a guy who'd taken pictures of boiling water with a macro lens on his camera. Uh huh. And it's kind of what it looked like. To be perfectly honest with you, it was it was just globs of. It was silver. It looked kind of silver because it was clear and everything. Uh-huh. Fucking awesome. But it was kind of like that. Just the kind of lame ass globs. You boil a kettle, you get Krypton. Apparently so. Yeah. Um, I thought it was weird <coughs> that on the word of some like tabloid journalist who writes for some sort of semi bullshit column, the FBI go, oh, he said Lois Lane knows. Let's go fucking arrest her. 
we'll take it on faith that this guy's telling the truth and we'll go huckle her up. I thought that was kind of weird. But the only thing on that is that the the head of the Air Force, well, I think it was, yeah, the guy he, who was up in in the in the Canadian Arctic, whatever, the guy from Oz, was running the base. He knew so there was like, something. Yeah, yeah like he was in the van when they caught Lois. Oh, so he knew she was so, witness to the spaceship taking. Oh, off. actually, no, I yeah, do remember so that. Maybe, maybe that. I remember possibly. writing this note when the FBI were coming for her, yes. but before he yeah. got out of the van. <laughs> Scratch that note. In fact, I'm going to delete that note right now. Uh, deleting note. I think everything else we mentioned. 300 cycles. 100 cycles is equal to 10 Earth years, I presume. That was a guess. Uh, the lowest helmet thing you explained why that would sort of work. Well, no. Um, but no, they agree, but not enough. If they just no, had her face hair, should have gone total recall and just exploded. She should have. She should have had her hair in a bun. <laughs> Um, when they were on, do you know the scene when they were then a whole bunch of just random uh, cast members are on a boat leaving Metropolis? I don't know if you this if you noticed this at all, but did you feel like it was New York and you're waiting for Spider Man to appear? Because I totally was like, oh, there's New York, where's Spider Man? Like, where's the? Ho- I was waiting for Homecoming to start. Mm. That's out next week. Is no, the week after, week? two weeks. Don't know. I'll we'll have to think about. It. Uh, oh, I've not written, written, written a weird thing here. <laughs> Is this just you deciding? What the fuck writing? keeps happening to Jenny, Perry's assistant? Well, she's the one that got um, stuck in the building. Uh huh. So I don't really know why this is what keeps happening to her. Though. Something. Um, Was she being hasty? Wait, I don't. I don't know. The last thing I've got is: <laughs> did it, was there a stormtrooper sound effect? Probably. At one point, when the, one of the when the pilot fell out the back of the ship, I'm convinced I heard the the stormtrooper. Like, ah! I probably oh, uh, missed it. No, wait, no, no. I, 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 the only thing that makes me think I know what you're talking about, I don't, because not from my memory, but from reading this morning on IMDb, something called a Wilhelm scream. Or oh yes, like that. that's, that's, it's that's it. twice in the film. Yeah, no, no. But yeah, it's it twice. Is, yes. So I, one was the, out the back of the aircraft. Uh-huh. There's another part I can't remember. I read it on IMDb this morning, so it was twice. Why would they have that? Because that, that was Star Wars was owned by fucking Marvel. No, that, that's not a Star Wars thing though. The Wilhelm scream. Because that's like um, when one of the Decepticons like attacks a, like Shia LaBeouf in the first Transformers film, he and he kicks his head and he goes Aye! as he falls. It's just that it's just that trope or whatever they're called that appears in every movie or mm. lots of movies. The Star Wars sound effect though, I don't know. I never oh, heard right. that. I thought there was. But, like a stormtrooper, I must have missed it. Uh, See, I did that earlier, and you just kind of no, I heard me. It. <laughs> Basically, I think I brought up the main points, but I think that the start should have been as part of jor exposition mm-hmm. period mm-hmm. on the ship with Kal-El, and it would have been a kind of a cool way for um, Soups to have seen Krypton. You could even got a little bit of extra acting quality out of Henry Cavill for, with a little, little tear or something, seeing his home world. So, just... That Spider-Man guy has apologised. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Sorry. Wrong podcast, Brad. Well, no, no, it was about our podcast. About our oh, right. Um, oh, do we want to talk about this on, this on air? Just a quick thing. Episode 159 reposted today. And oh, this guy dear. put, the news is almost four weeks old. And I, I put, as is the article, dude, no harm in drawing people to our podcast, though. And he's just put, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> He gets a follow. <laughs> yeah. What? Well done, you earned that. So all that work that goes into a podcast and this person comments something negative. That's why occasionally Twitter. I... That's Twitter, man. I, just, I, I say things that I know will piss people off. <laughs> Whether I believe it or not, which I usually do. You said something about that Like before, this film is great. You've got more interactions off of one semi-negative tweet than you do on 500 positive tweets. What yeah. other notes have you got about Man of Steel? Um, the only other thing that I wanted to mention was that the score is amazing. Right, so proper quick good points and bad points then, I suppose, eh? Yeah. Score. So, score, yeah, to the point that... Concur. It, it either, I either bought it when I got home from the cinema, the next morning, or the following Monday when it came out. I can't remember. It was As soon as it was available, I bought it. I uh, I didn't realise because I watched Man of Steel once almost and we've went really long on this I watched Man of Steel once not I didn't even finish it actually <gasps> I stopped at the small little fight I was just like do you know what mm. I can't be fucked 
You knew what was going to happen. It was predictable. I just couldn't be fucking bothered I anymore. The cinema, man. But I, I remember really seeing. No, I, I saw it like two years later or something. What? I saw it last night for the first time. You did not. You... No, he did. Was well, that the first time you watched yeah, it? The first time and you 1.4 it. it for the first time. Yes, because he didn't want to watch it. Oh my! That's and I was just what, what is it about? What is it about uh, the, the Stoby family that they can't watch the fucking? They can't do the homework. <laughs> I did the homework. I had to. Speed you one point four it. I had to one point four it. He did pretty good for the MCU. Give him some props. He failed on three I films. Two, two Thor's. I did second best out of the whole team. Yes, he watched more MCU films than I did, but I wasn't on all the podcasts. I'm asking for perfection. Yeah, well. Start with yourself first. <laughs> I watched every film. <laughs> I think the next, the next like fourteen weeks is going to be pretty tough going for you. Yeah, you have any of them actually owned? Not yet. <laughs> no, right, I'm, right, a, right, I'm having to buy a lot of films yes, at the moment when, when, with yeah, the revenue yeah, yeah. from these podcasts. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, sponsors, yo. <laughs> I didn't Just realize. Send us three DVDs. <laughs> yes, help us out. If you, in fact, if you want us to review something, if you're like, do you know, I don't want them to review DCEU anymore. Send us DVDs. If you're like, yeah. I want you to review. Especially if you've made your own film. Alien franchise. But, but, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> right. Let's try and succinctly say here that. I didn't realise that the music from BVS was some of the music from Man of Steel. Yeah, so I was like, oh, that's fucking brilliant. And that's what I like about the DC uh, films is that they carry the music through all, all of them as opposed so to the new composers. Mm-hmm. Not all the time. Oh, they do have that one. Yeah. But it's not quite as good. Th- the score do. is better in DC. Do. The score is better, way more powerful. Do. Did Hans Zimmer do it? Oh, I don't know. Henry Jackman on... Captain America. I mean, he is. That was pretty good. Yeah. Henry, uh, he's... I can't remember any you of actually, the Avengers you soundtracks. You mentioned the score in nearly every MCU. Yeah. I think, and if not everyone. And especially you got to the point. You got to the point by about episode uh, 12, 13 and where we said, let's MCU, just right? stop. Like, on we're just going to assume that the cast is great and the score is awesome. Yeah. Because that's the same for every bloody film in the MCU. And then you went on to the other. Good well, bands. I would say that the cast are great for the DCU. The cast are not the problem. Right. Superman was well cast. I like yep. Henry Cavill. He's my favorite Superman, mm-hmm. and he's the most likable Superman. Yes, yes. In not in bland. this film, he's not bland. I'm, he's I'm, not your I'm, Sam Beige or whatever you keep talking. About. Yeah, I'm <laughs> pointing out though in this film. No, hmm. it's bodes well for next week. He's a whiny <laughs> bitch in Batman versus Superman. Whoa, okay. <laughs> um... <laughs> The, all the cast are really good. I mean, I I would maybe have re, I would maybe change Lois Lane, but I'm still happy with her. But I'd maybe change her to someone else. Although I can't think of anyone else. Rachel McAdams, oh, I would have cast her if I could have. I can't remember the names that were on. One bit I did remember from my IMDb today, which I totally forgot about. Do you know who was originally cast as Faura before the lady who ended up playing her? Gina Carano. I was going to say mm, that. No, but good guess. I know. Gal think Gadot. Someone else is. Yes, Gal Gadot had the part. But then had to drop out because she was pregnant. Wow. There you go. Who'd have, have thought know. babies would lead to great stuff? I don't even think, but... Who oh, would have thought, yeah. She, oh, so then she got Wonder Woman. Mm-hmm. You mean? All right, sorry, sorry. Yeah, if she I had, don't know if you were having a joke there. Yeah, well, it's, well, just, was, it's just it's nice I, to see that was, someone has success from having a baby. I made more money. Yeah, unlike, unlike me, people. who's just got this fucking vacuumous money drain of kids. Yes. So it is a joke. I don't know, I'm so confused with this. Gal Gadot, is this a good thing or not? I'm it's so good for her. I wish yeah. I could get a good... I wish I could be Wonder Woman after having kids. Is it past my bedtime? Is that what's wrong I'm with I'm not quite sure. Oh, yeah, it's half ten. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> right, so anything else you really liked about the film? The end credits. Oh, shut up. <laughs> um, I, well, maybe the only other wee thing, and I don't know if I've said this already, but um, the first time I watched it at the cinema, and you talked about the, the total want and destruction of Metropolis, right? Uh-huh. I don't know why. I genuinely did not think about it was that bad. peril and the amount of people that w- would have died, yeah? So the whole backlash off the back of it going, oh my God, so many like hundreds of thousands of people died when all these buildings collapsed. I genuinely didn't even think about it first time around. I felt it was like, because every time they went through a building, an office space, there was no workers there. Well, presumably they were evacuated because the ship was above Metropolis. Uh, okay, so, so everyone, so yeah. the area was probably quite well evacuated. Uh, yeah, so yeah. you're to assume that 
most people got out. Like Perry mm. and that, there's just all, all the scene where they're leaving and Jenny right, gets stuck. we're leaving. <laughs> you know, so I think they, I think most yeah, of it was evacuated to a good degree. I mean, yeah. I think when you see a giant alien yeah, I ship. I suppose, yeah, so maybe it wasn't as bad as what I think. I, think, I don't know, there was so much hate when that first came out about, like, Man of Steel. Oh, do you know what? It's all right, but that bit at the end where they, like, destroy the city and so many people die, that's all I remember. Although that about. one place that... that Superman and Zod land in and when he breaks his neck seem to be heavily populated with about 15 people Grand Sanger of... Station I think yeah. <laughs> if it was Grand Sanger Station or something like yeah, it I think, I think it's it was... it's underground it's not yeah. Grand Central I want to say it was somewhere in people Canada. maybe trying to get away no yeah that's where they filmed it I mean it was Metropolis so yeah. it wouldn't be Grand Central Station it would be Great middle station or something yeah. equivalent. Oh, yeah, I thought you meant they filmed it in Grand Central. No, Sorry. I don't know. Now, I know something about the film, mm-hmm. which is so probably something people are going to shit on, right? Mm-hmm. But. I'm looking forward to doing so. <laughs> in a way, they kind of change scenes quite dramatically throughout. Okay. In other words, you could say it like this it kind of felt like they jumped around a little bit. No. Right, now wait, wait, for, wait, though, wait. <laughs> And that happened. And then we'll give you your two minutes to like yeah. just shit all over and it, pe- and then we'll call it quits. People yeah. talk about BVS doing the same. Mm-hmm. However, I think what Zack Snyder has t- tried to do is too much and too short a time. Is plan. too <laughs> is tried to create comic book panels. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So so not as obvious as Ang Lee in the original in Hulk in two thousand and three. Yeah. Right. Well, I've not seen that one. Lovely- you know? No, I didn't. I didn't. Oh, he did this really cool, like, comic book styling where you've seen the, the black panes going through the screen and there was, like, two scenes going off each other and stuff. I don't, I don't, oh, I is don't that why they start that out in The Incredible Hulk? We kind of start, the beginning of the, the film starts out with this kind of. It rings a bell and that, uh, yeah. It does ring a bell, actually. Maybe, yeah. it was, maybe it was to help a little bit. Of Just kind of to move it forward a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. So I think that, because it kind of, they're, they're, they're doing something and then I remember distinctly that. Then Superman and Lois are standing there chatting about something else in a completely different area. Mm. You're know, like, what happened in between all this? And I was like, huh, mm. that's kind of weird. But actually, yeah, I know what it's kind of how a comic book flows. Yeah, yeah. And the different acts kind it of make, make it a bit more. Would make cut. sense. The, so I the... think that actually that was a, a styling that Zack Snyder tried to do and was on purpose. And actually, it moves things forward very quickly. A little bit jarring, but different. And mm-hmm. I kind of liked it. You know. Apparently the first cut was three and a half hours. <laughs> I don't doubt it. <laughs> we probably had to cut like an hour and three minutes <laughs> out of it. I mean, it was still two hours and 23 at end. I know. Which I was surprised. I, I, I forgot. I didn't realise it was as long as it, it was. Is, well, all the DC um, films are really long. We've got four weeks of three hour films, basically. <laughs> right, so... Uh, uh, was Wonder Woman that long? Uh, no, it's not quite as long Su- as that. Suicide Squad is long as fuck. Sh- is it? I thought it was going to say, it's not just shit two hours. Is it? It feels long as fuck. Oh, maybe it is. I don't think it's anyway. Sorry. Anyway, so, you, so do you want to rag on my kind yes. of comic book panel thing? Go on, Mister Stoby. This is your two minutes. He justify however you want. I he tried care. to do too much in too short a time and had to cut out a lot of the transitional. So you think bad directing? Just again, same problem they've got in the next film. The, Editing. Yes, too much going on. They drew things out for far too long. Things that should have only been two minutes were ten. You know, it's like. I like the Krypton thing. So is Zack Snyder basically me on a podcast and they needed someone like you to tighten it yeah, up a little bit? Yeah, he needed the timer there, yeah. Because I'm on three hours of podcasting today already. Fucking hell, man. That's brutal. And, and half of that was just me talking to my, <laughs> talking <laughs> so to. So overall, air. let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. Okay, so... Over to you, Steve. What do you think? Steve, what do you think? What do you think? Oh, I don't know. I know. Some things up quite well. I really enjoyed it. Um... Out of out of the four DCEUs, because I'm going to miss the next three anyway, so I'll just shout mine out now. I think I've got it third, unfortunately, but quite a close third. Um, there's only one film worse than it. Uh, so I probably bought seven out of ten, maybe. I think I'll give it. Oh, okay. I'm trying to think where that places in the MCUs, but I can't remember off the top of my head. I would like. I think we'll seven, we'll, seven we'll revise it. Hmm. We won't, Stu. <laughs> Cheers, dude. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to tell us. You'd be like, like you can't give that seven out of ten because. Did you spin on it with BVS when you f- did the first one? Probably, probably. Yeah, we're going to do it again. Way back to like episode three, four. Shit. So we're going to do BVS again, but yeah, just the two of us. Again, again. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to have to listen to it because we might just rebrand to the one we done before. 
and have a week off. Why don't you? Why don't you? You can sit and do all your admin stuff. Just play the recording of the last one, right? And then retitle it one six eight or whatever, and see who notices. <laughs> we need we, we need a different voice for next week to watch BVS. I, Ian, you must show up. Oh, uh, I thought you meant like to talk like pirates and be like, oh, I watched Batman <laughs> versus. Did you see that? I, I put, it on, Twitter, Yorkshire I put pirate. it on Twitter the other morning. I was like, it's international, international talk, talk like, like pirate. pirate day. No, it wasn't. It was the day after. I was like, fucking missed it. That's why I didn't do it. <laughs> it's like, I'll be late again. <laughs> Darn again. Barnacles. <laughs> what are you? What? What's the good things? Bad things? I really like this film. <laughs> are we going to do the pirates franchise? He didn't. Even no. <laughs> okay. Right. <laughs> Uh, no, this this was actually not as bad as, you as I expected. Good. I would probably rate it in the DC Universe's fourth equal. Um, with all the other three. With the other three. <laughs> <laughs> that gives me your score for all of them. <laughs> Zero out of ten. I, I thought, what did I give Batman? Honest, right? Like two or three or something. I was going to say five, five and a half. No, I, mean, it was definitely I, I liked him as Superman. I liked the fact that they touched on the origins, but they didn't milk it. Mm-hmm. Um, Do you see the donation? You know the wee uh, um, background that moves as Jor El's telling Cal about. Mm-hmm. See, they had the original spaceship from the Donner film in 74 and the spikes. Oh, did they? Oh, I didn't no, see that. was a clever wee nod back. Oh, right. Original. No, didn't see it. Because mm-hmm. um, I, I don't know the original films. Because. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm fucking young, Jeez. man. You guys are old. Um, it some had, com- it some had comic some comic book guy. This guy is. Uh, comic see. book, not films. I'm not saying I'm a comic book fan because I've seen all the movies. <sighs> um, it's like many people would claim. I, I, like I said earlier, I like the <laughs> fact that Superman <laughs> had villains that he was um, that were able to kind of throw him around and mm-hmm. beat him senseless without cheating and using kryptonite. Tell me, do you bleed? Uh, Tell me, do you bleed? Never got spare. Uh, but overall, it was just... It was better than I expected, but then that's kind of like saying my dog's taking a bigger shit than I was expecting. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Should it be like saying your dog's taking a smaller shit than you're expecting? No, I'm proud of my dog when they do big shits. Especially the fact I don't have a dog, so I'm wondering what the fuck that is in my living room. Okay. Were, you, were, you, were you proud you watched this? I was proud of myself that I stayed awake to the fucking end of it. I'm quite impressed that you managed to do it with... with, with uh, One day's notice. No, with like seven hours notice or something, like 12 hours notice. That's why I asked at the weekend what we were doing homework by, so I could schedule it in. Well, I thought, all of a sudden on Tuesday, I, I thought like, we right, had right, a guys, month. we're doing Man of Steel this week. It means but you've got tomorrow night to get it done. I, oh. I thought we had a month until I did the calendar and realised yeah. we were two years behind. <laughs> <laughs> You're like... Uh, what? What? <laughs> I'm saying to Kenny, this is all wrong. I've got my calendar long form writing it all out. <laughs> Flipping pages like, what the fuck? This is wrong. <laughs> I, put, I put it in a spreadsheet like, how have you managed to do that in three weeks faster than I've got on my calendar? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think flipping the pages so you get the extra yeah, week. You've missed, you've missed or something. Week, every time you flip the month. You <laughs> I the don't weekend. know. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I should only make content. <laughs> Um, oh, but no. <laughs> it, it had moments. <coughs> going to rate it? You're going to say, what did you really not like about it? It there was succinctly. Style pacing. Yeah, they, they drag they drag things out too long. Even at one point four speed, on. right? Even at watching a DVD at one point four speed, things still dragged on way too long. Did they talk like chipmunks? No, they didn't. That's why it was one point four, not one point five. Because, <laughs> because that's the point where their voices change pitch. Really? Yeah. yeah. So they still talk normally, and you still get Russell Crowe doing his normal talking and everything like that. And that's exposition, but it's a little bit faster. So how long than did it take you? Because I said it's just under two hours to watch like, the whole film. It's basically like, how did you manage to finish that already? You started yeah. after me. Because it was, I, I, it was. <laughs> he was using my calendar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think I'm always late? <laughs> yeah. He's using your calendar. I'm actually early. Sort of. <laughs> I thought I was three weeks behind, your time, yeah. but I'm only two weeks and, you know, yeah, anyway. So, yeah, um, if I was going to rate it, I'd probably give it a six. So, will you like it less than the Thor and Hulk films, still? Probably. Probably. Yeah. Okay. Maybe the Thor of it's seven, I think. I have no I don't know about Dark World, but we'll shout on that. Yeah. Okay, I like the cast. 
of this film, mostly. Uh, I like I like them or think they're perfect, which would be Henry Cavill, right? Um, I like uh, the music. The score is fantastic. I like making David wait to pee. <laughs> I, I, I like the way they didn't go for a straight-up origin story, um, yeah. although I would have preferred they modelled it a little bit more. Um, I disliked some of the CGI. The C- it was a bit... It just didn't look that good. Mm. Maybe it's because it was 2013, which is yeah. four it's, years it's, ago. It's a, or... long, it's a long time cinema world. A lot of advances. From, yeah, just in a few years. Didn't like the grey stuff. See you, David. It really did just don't really like much of a Russell Crowe stuff. Yeah. Wrap it up. He's getting no Twitter love this week. So I can't decide if it's a 6, a 6.5, or a 7. What did I say? I said 7. I don't think I enjoyed it quite as much as you. No, that's cool. <laughs> um, but I feel like giving it a six means... The thing is, I'm probably not going to really actively watch it again. Like, I, it's still more, Did you only watch it because we were doing the series? Yeah, I did wouldn't really right? choose there, to watch it. Whereas yeah. the next whereas one... I've watched, I've watched Man of Steel like some, about six months ago and watched it just randomly one day going, do you know I haven't seen that in a while? I'm going to do that one. Right, okay. Well, I mean, I'd watch BBS easy a whole bunch of times mm-hmm. but this I probably I'll only watch if I'm doing the complete mm-hmm. DC experience yep. so I think based on that I'm going to give it a 6.5 mm-hmm. 6.5 okay you go with 6.5 yep. there you go then your chance yes I watched no, there was no I'm soap involved there. there was no soap involved there I know there wasn't go get the soap so on your hands his hands in his back pocket <laughs> I'm <rubbing my> bum, <laughs> getting nice and dirty mm-hmm. Creepy voice. Hygiene voice, go wash your hands. Hygiene voice. So, we're wrapping it up. Yep. Sweet. What did I say there? Wrap it up. Hygiene voice. Go hygiene on. first. Go oh, use some soap. Hygiene first, right. <laughs> go use some fucking soap. <laughs> fucking use soap, right. Wrap it up. Let's go, I'm wrapping it up, right. Thanks for listening, guys. You can find us at the buffgeekpodcastblog.wordpress.com. You find us, me, at dstoby at the usual places. Over to you, Steve. Uh, at Twitter is at Wise Pranker, and you get me Stephen House Rath on Instagram and Facebook. And you'll find us at the Buffkeep Podcast Blog dot WordPress dot com. Oh, I've been practicing yeah. so it's because I've done so many fucking podcasts on my own <laughs> this week. Um, you can find all of us at the Buff Geek on all types of social media. If you're looking for some personal training, nutrition plans, or training plans, contact Alpha Fitness again at the Buff Geek Podcast blog. WordPress.com. And if you're at MCM Scotland at the weekend, you might yeah. see us there. You might well look indeed. out for the logo. Yep, I'm representing. You're representing, boys? Yeah, I've got, I've got my t shirt. See, so I, sit nice and do you not know think I should just represent instead of dressing up? It's your call. Totally your show. What do you guys think? You've, you've invested in the outfit, though, have you not? Yeah. Well, you go, well, why didn't you just cosplay? Might as well wear it one night for, you know. You'll get cosplay pictures. What's that? You'll get like, pictures with people. You think so? Why not? Oh, if you're our brother. Is that what you're hoping for? Maybe. Pictures. If they've got tits. Oh my gosh, right. I'm going to sign off. Hashtag the Buff Geek Podcast. If you've enjoyed this podcast or any of our other podcasts, you can thank us by buying us a drink at MCM Comic Con this weekend. Huzzah!